In any case, back to it then. It's Dredge. It's a pretty fun and charming game. And it's certainly got things that bump us in the night. Hopefully we can avoid them again. So we've landed for the first time here in the Gale Cliffs at... Where's this place even called? Ing something or other. And we've got some nasty stale fish to sell, a bit of land to explore. And I'm still looking to grab things to enhance my boating experience. Although we have actually added the wee jet drive engines. And they really add a bit of speed to this thing. They really give it the beans. Drop off that research part and refresh our memory of what's here. We've got a retired whaler. Shipwrecks, strange things. What was it you were telling me about Ingfell? Ah yes, the whaling town. As I, as I recall, they fish their, for their own stuff here, so I can't sell them fish, but they were saying that there's a ship nearby that I could sell my stuff to. I think it was you there, resident. Oh, perhaps you can also tell me about the cliffs, but remind me about the fish selling. We catch our fish ourselves. No need for buying anything. Yeah, there we go. Merchant travels around, anchored across the bay. I spied you the other day. Repairs as well, and I need those. And these cliffs? A haven for smugglers and pirates. There was an indication that there are bits of rock that I could blow up, although I don't know how. Maybe I can get myself a cannon attached to this ship. Disagreements, huge battles, south of the cliffs, large number of wrecks in that area. And treasure hoards. I'm surprised that the people living here haven't gone out and grabbed that for themselves. But be that as it may, I spy something that I can catch there. And I also want to sail across and sell my goodies. So let's grab our two measly stale fish and get to work. What time is it anyway? Ah, it's early morning and we're probably well rested. So let's undock and get to work. Oh, there's more more liveliness over there. I'll need to check that out, and I want to check that ship out. But first and foremost, I spy this looking all fancy-like. So we're going to get fishing for the good stuff. Are stonefish really that fancy? I don't know, but it's the first time we've seen one. Uh, oh, right. Small problem maybe a bit bigger than small, is that thanks to all the damage I've done to my ship, it's a little difficult to fit all of these in. If I grab another stonefish, I won't actually be able to store it. I was hoping with the, the weird colour pouring out that there might be some, some weird fish to grab there, but maybe that's already passed. I'll see if we can sell what we can sell, get our ship repaired up and go check out that other area. I don't feel the need to try hard in this game. I, I want to drink it all in. What in the world is that, though? Kind of looks like something that's going to do me in if I touch it. Hmm, can't really investigate it. All right, let's uh, call Kelly here then. Sadly, I'm pretty sure the fishing pole counts as installed, so I can't move it around. Which seems weird. Maybe I should double check that one. Fisherman, I take it, will get along like a house on fire. Yeah, my ship's been on fire. You think you could put that out for me? Traveler, a merchant, fish to sell, I'll take him. Mm. I haul a small cargo of equipment between places. So I wonder if I'm going to see you at different locations that I go to, because currently going back to the central area to sell my wares every time is proving to be a bit bad for the freshness of my cargo. All right, first things first. You'll buy any fish, and you keep crab- well, the crab pots have been the biggest con for me so far. Passive money my foot. In any case, lovely, eight quid for that nasty old fish, three quid for that one, but what about these stonefish? Twenty-one smackaroos a pop, yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. But I'm going to need to immediately liquidate that money down for repairs. Have you met the photographer? Fancy camera, pictures of wildlife, I don't recall. I wish I had my own camera. Wouldn't it be nice to document everything you do? I have mixed feelings about taking photos of everything I do. Small island south. Okay. South of the Marrows, you say? You mean around here, perhaps? There's a lot that I have not yet uncovered, but I'm working on it. Uh, anyway, floating dock. You might be used to dry docks. Here we can do upgrades on the float. Well, I'm here to repair. 
I do really want that hull upgrade. I really want some extra space for cargo, even if it's not a lot. But I am on the lookout for... What's that stuff? I think it's like fancy, fancy metal, which I've not yet found, and yet more driftwood. There's also a storage location here, which is kind of convenient. But I don't know what I'd do with it. Oh, I should also check and see if I can sell you my fancy trinkets, although I do doubt it. Anyway, what do you have to tell me? Ugh, we're always around trying to help people. What's up with that? I've been trying to collect a record of where each species of fish are. Figured out most of them, there are a few that I've not tracked down. I don't see why not. As long as there's something in it for me. Oarfish, gulper, eel, goliath, tigerfish, and colacanth. I think we've seen the, the eels. Hmm. Well, I don't need to know more about those. I'm sure I can find them and make dodge myself. Ing fell across the bay. Dreary. Indeed it is. Been there, done that. Deep rumblings within the rocks. It's, it's a pretty grim place around here. One wonders why we're even still hanging around. I like to keep moving. Merchanting is secondary to traveling. More of a merchanting traveler. I can get behind the desire to travel. Hmm. Plenty of strange things. Don't dwell on them or you go crazy. Ha. Hmm. Maybe we've got a bit of a Silent Hill situation where what we're seeing is a figment of our own inner psyche. Yeah, refined metal pizza. Not sound any sign of it, but since this is a bit of a shipwreck area, it could well be that I can find it here. Super heavy, offload it, come aboard, what equipment do you have for sale? So yeah, this this flexible fishing pole is somehow installed. Never quite figured that out. Hmm, but I'm pretty satisfied with the fishing gear I have right now. I've got oceanic, I've got coastal and shallow, there's some fancy other places that I can't do just yet. The thing is, the equipment's so big. I feel really hamstrung by how limited a, an inventory area you have here, and everything shared on it as well. It makes me feel like grabbing a light is a waste of time. After all, who needs it? Hello! There's the refined metal, and it costs 500 quid. Good lord. Okay, well, let's get our repairs for one. Dang, 500 quid for that? Scary. After literal weeks spent catching up on Jake's streams, Chatterlord Factorio, very excited to finally catch one live. Hi, says Lyrico. Well, welcome. God knows how you managed to find the time to catch up. I spend most of my waking hours streaming, so there's plenty to watch. I like to think that means that people can just pick and choose whatever they want to see the best. Even if that's nothing. I mean, some people are here just to fun post. Check out Nicky, he's always around, but he, he never watches the streams. He's just here to mock people. And if there's one thing I can get behind, it's absolutely that. I do want to check out that uh, area over there, but for now, if there are fish to catch, then I'll be here to catch them. Oh, wow, that is one tiny little fish. But needs must. I'm here to rake the oceans clean. Oh boy, I was never missing these before. Clearly not on my A game just yet. Hey, there we go. Trophy fish. Well, since I'm so close, I may as well just drop them off while they're good and fresh. Alright, let's not just ram into things. That's caused problems before. I didn't do any damage there, did I? Not at all. Crab pots can be quite profitable if you find a good place to drop them. Just don't forget. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't seeing that personally. Ah, see, look at that. 63 quid for uh, a morning's work. I know some people wouldn't get out of bed for that kind of money, but we can't be too choosy around here. Anyway, I'm hoping for some nice metals, so i got to go and check out shipwrecks like this. Ah, yeah, shipwreck first. Shapes in the deep. Get back to playing Frogger. Jesus. Uh, okay, research parts are certainly something, and that's all we get. 
Oh wow, that's tight. That's real tight. Wreckfish. A little awkward to fit in my ship, but there we go. Can I catch another one? Would I have space for another one? My instincts tell me no. Certainly not. <laughs> this is the thing, we catch like two fish and we have to go back. I feel really limited by the inventory space. Uh, this one probably arcs around at a jaunty angle, which makes it easier to fit in my ship. Easy money. Alright, back we go. Evidently we need a lot of money for that refined metal. Maybe the third fish is better than your current fish. Well, I could go out and check for it. Wouldn't be a big deal. If it's completely turned to rot, I can't pay you anything for it. Well, we haven't got to that point yet. Oh, wow, okay, these wreck fish are worth some actual money. There we go. I suppose I'm glad that you do actually sell the fish. If there was, like, some kind of super crafting that required specific fish and you'd have to hold on to them, oh, boy. I think I'd, uh, I'd have my patience tested by that. Okay, the fish are gone, but there's a funny looking light coming out of this area. Speaking of light... Oh, our light was already on. Stands, stands to reason just how poor my own light is. Ooh, once again, telling me to grab some explosives. Any oceanic spots here? Might as well free up space short term. Eh, I don't want to... I don't want to. Emerges, broken buildings, hobbles towards you. Oh, hello, Hermit. I've been stubbornly holding out here for quite some time, so he's got his own nail house here. I've been reconsidering. Happy here, my wife and I had... Oh, don't give me the past tense on the wife. Now I'm alone, cut off by land and sea. Yeah, that, that's really tragic. What else do you want to know? Someone that used to live here kept their ship moored at the base of the cliff, struck by falling rocks, devastated at loss. Well, I'm here to dredge that up. Consumed by the core by that hateful serpent. Is that the one that keeps nibbling on my boat? Less of a serpent, more of like an anglerfish. Nightmarish waking to the sound of a creature slithering somewhere underneath. Pretty hard to be scared of things in the water when you live on dry land, is it not? Been burrowing tunnels to the base of the cliffs. Okay, okay, maybe if it can burrow through cliffs, then uh, being scared is a bit more reasonable. Should it catch sight of you? Should be able to outrun it. It's quite slow. Yeah, but I'm quite good at bashing into things at high speed. Explosives. Oh, Ingfell man making explosives. Right, we found things we want to blow up, so that's something to something to check out. Maybe we can get you over to Ingfell. I plan on going there anyway. It's not that simple. Uh, okay. Things were bad. I took the family crest, which I stole, and I can't return with it. It's okay. After the collapse, drag the debris down. If you were to find the crest, it's a large whalebone crest. It would mean the world to me. Well, as we found, we can sell things that we say we're going to bring back to people. Might be worth considering. So too might resting. Yeah, yeah, sure, you <laughs> it's not. You need to face your fears one of these days, young. Just go out and do some open water swimming. That'll that'll perk you right up. Well, it'll put an end to your fears one way or another. So, there's this X marks the spot thing here. Did I ever get around to that? I'm gonna go and check it out regardless. Although, eh, uh, more fishing. We might have. Oh boy! There's that big old serpent thing. Then, quite slow, easy to outrun, right? 
You already dinged up my boat. Oh, equipment broken. Well, that's not very nice. Gotta go and fix it up already. Well, I might as well fish something up that can pay for it slightly. Oh, right, it's all broken. Unless I do some oceanic fishing. This is a bit of a lost cause for me. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps I could still find something oceanic. Yeah, those swordfish over there. Mm, those crap pots are good money. At least Jake won't make them get tanked. Alright, wait, even that isn't oceanic fishing? I thought I did spy oceanic fishing over here. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Grabs us some good fish. Need that money anyway. Easy money. Oh, right, depleted already though. Impossibly quick. Not for this trawler. Mm, that's coastal. Oh, sadly too dinged up for that. Damn, that giant supposedly slow serpent. This game is so simple, but it's a lot of fun. Oh, there's some charm to be found in simplicity. I remember it's something that me and Johan uh, had an argument about, and now I've come to see it to his point of view. There was a game that he was praising. I think it was something like Kingdom of Castles. Or I don't know, it's a game I had played as well, and I was like, oh, it's such a basic, simple game, there's no real fun to be had, and he was like, well, sometimes I just want that. And, uh, yeah, he was he was dead right. Can't believe I got that dinged up that quickly, how much is the damage? Sixty quid! Something that came out of nowhere. Alright then, back to it I go. Unless I just go and get dinged again. So these old man reactions of mine. Where did it all go so wrong? Could still grab another one of these. There we go. I do not think I could grab another one. Or could I? What if I shoved you there? No, that just creates more problems, not few. Oh, Jesus Christ! Uh, oh, that wasn't very sporting. Okay, I'm not sure I like hanging around here. Lost my catch, and I've got another repair job to do. What is a quid? A quid is one pound sterling. The British currency. Probably more common to hear it called a quid than a pound. Hmm. Well, I think you're in cahoots with this serpent to constantly take my money. So I made 80 quid and I've probably got to spend another 60 quid fixing up. Jeez. Well, that's no good. I don't think I want to hang around here. Still on for shipwrecks, so I need more bits and bobs to improve my boat with. Maybe there was something I could have uh, paid a bit of attention to. To hello, decaying black. Are you going to freak out like the other guy? Oh, hang on, the fish just came back. Or were they never gone to begin with? Yeah, I wonder if she's going to freak out like the fishmonger from the previous area if I serve her up one of these freak fish. Oh, you just straight up pay me for it. But like the other guy, you still pay me half decent money for it. Yeah, not bad. Just catch the big guy. If it could be so easy.
Mm, that's become... Hang on, is it Friday already? More Friday Factorio facts. Splendid. Alright, so about those fish that the serpent did not want me having. I still want them. Maybe when I start hearing something unusual I should keep my wits about me. Rather than just dossing around here. So I just look at all these fish I can enjoy. Thought I could hear him coming. I can see him coming. Surely he won't ding my boat while I'm here, and if he is, it's an insurance problem for you, not me. Alright, alright. I'm still keen on finding some half decent dredge of wrecks around here, so I'll continue the search. Check that out, Acronymous, but obviously not now. You're in queer shape. Pull on L block here. Ah, but we got the weird one. And. Oh, nice variety catch there. Normal, twisted, and gold standard. I wonder what happens if you take damage with a full load. Do you lose one of the things in your ship? Can't imagine why you wouldn't. This little fishing minigame does a good job of taking your mind off the horrors that be. I don't think there's any way to get more in here though. Maybe I could fudge these guys around. No, they, they fit in pretty nicely as is. I'll make do with that. Sell what I get, man. Keep going back to sell more. Why can't I keep things on ice or have a bigger inventory? Maybe I'm doing things a bit out of order. It certainly feels it a bit. Didn't you lose some stuff last session when the big nasty fish dinged you? Quite possibly. There we go. 200 smackaroos. Now I can afford that fancy metal. And I'm going to be so unhappy if I buy this from you. And then find that I can just dredge it up easily. But yeah, I need to buy this. Into my storage you go. There's probably a better way to do that, but there we go. Why did I want this refined metal again? Seriously improve any vessel. Well, I need more wood. Hang on, is that actually the refined metal? Hmm, I've got a surprise for you. A gift to my most loyal customer. Here's the art of silver tongue. I have a feeling that's going to get me extra money at market. Let's have that on our to-read list right now. Mm-hmm. Oh, that is the refined metal. I forget how this works then. Am I meant to throw this onto you as part of the work here? So, floating dock, new hull. Yeah, here we go. There's your refined metal. A bit of wood. Two more bits of wood and we get our brand new hull. And it looks like the big upgrades always require that. Very well. Didn't we need the art of the singular tongue for a quest? I have no idea, but I suppose I can check somewhere. Can't I? Where are these things? All these pursuits, great way to remind myself. So we've got some tasks here, finding relics, catch a blue mackerel, catch some rare fish, family quest, rotting eel to Ingfell. I should be able to just hold on to it for a short while. They start to rot pretty quick out in the sun. Back in Ingfa, I guess I could do that. Where do we find the eel? I haven't been paying that much attention. Fortunately, the game is an almanac. Also, some messages in the bottle I'm not bothering to read. 
sturgeon, you say? Hmm. Plenty of unknowns here. Aren't eels shallow? Hmm. Oh, right, I can turn these things on and off. That's grey eel, but was it grey eel? I thought it was something else. You host eel. You have different tabs in the quest log. Specific quests for specific regions. Really? Ah. Ah, no, there's core pursuits in Pale Reach. That's all I've got for now. Conger eel. I'm not, not sure I've found that yet. Alright, the day is not yet done. I'll continue to search around for the parts I need for the ship. I didn't pay attention to whether or not I need to pay money. Probably. I mean, why would I not have to pay money? But as tempting as these fish are, I'm here for shipwreck. Oh, hey, this looks promising. Play frogger, get wood. Hope that big bugger doesn't come and get me here. Last thing I need is another 60 quid repair job. Not too shabby. Now we can just head on home. And all is well. Ooh, fancy golden stuff. In the water. Actually, maybe that's just a boy. No, that's probably just the ship. Anything worth catching around here? Some unknown coastal fish over here. It's hard to keep track of them. Oh, oh there's shapes out in the darkness, though. Trying to interrupt me and my catch, are you? Really? This is really hard to keep track of. That's a shallow fish, but I'm looking for. Hmm. Yeah, abyssal's no good. This game has a terrific lighting effect. Maybe this is one of those cases where I should actually invest in some better lights, but there's just no space. It's not that that I want. We want to go to Floating Dock, New Hell. And there you go. Oh, right. It also costs 500 quid. <laughs> so, at least I'm not paying parts and materials, right? No, I'm just paying for your labor. Alright, alright. Get to it. Nonsense lights are for people with monitor brightness above five. Yeah, it'd be, I'd be blinded by the light, wouldn't I? I'm gonna do some oceanic fishing. I've got the stuff installed. I might as well make use of it for mega dosh. Well, it's not oceanic. Hello, unknown fish. More for that. Hang on, you're not unknown, are you? I think it just went away as day broke. Well, the need for fish is dire. The story is that these people in Ingfell catch their own fish, but perhaps the real way forward for profit is to overfish the region around them so that they may no longer fish for their own fish. And that way they are beholden to me. Hmm. I might be onto something here. I've got a clean plan. Okay, yeah, there's no way to fit the other ones in there. Yeah, the oneers are quite nice for filling in the gaps, but it's all too easy to fill up on the big fish. I want my bigger hull. Give me my bigger hull. Oh. Alright, we're almost there. There doesn't appear to be any time pressure, and for that I'm quite grateful. It means I can just take it easy. So the going out and getting the fish and getting back for the night horrors get you is pretty cozy. And every so often I do just want to play a nice cozy game. 
Believe it or not, with that in mind, I actually reinstalled the Elder Scrolls onto my PC. Just overcome with this idea of, wouldn't it be nice to play some nice, cozy Western RPG? Hell, I fired up a Vorion. Ah, oh, right. That was a mistake. I should have waited for the golden one to come along. I still got a twisted freak out of it. We'll see if I actually end up playing it, but I put it on there with that in mind. Fishing like overfishing. Just wondering if there was anything else for me to catch here. Ooh. Fallow and dredge. Okay, so there's some stuff over in that direction. I will go and grab that at daybreak because more dredge is better dredge. Especially with my new fancy boat. More and more. No, 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 no. Not more Morrowind. I rewatched my Skyrim VOD a bit, and I took note of the end part where I said I can't think of any situation where I'd ever want to play this game. Something like I'll uninstall and never reinstall it, but back in it went regardless. Alright, finally, we got the Dosh. We can do the upgrade. Which they did instantly, strangely enough. Definitely need these cargo spaces. Look at that, that is so paltry! Ay, 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 okay, well, come on, let's get to work on this. I need metal scraps and more wood and 300 quid. Yeah, because I ain't messing around and dosh in this one. At least we end up well rested. There we go, early morning. I do like the fact that we can manipulate the camera independent of our own directional steering. Alright, plenty to dredge up. Give it to me. Not the fish, though. The shapes in the deep. Looks like it could be cloth. I'm not sure how good some cloth that's been underwater for god knows how long is going to be for making a ship out of. But it's not my job to think. It's my job to fish. For unknown reasons. We've already paid off our debt. Just leave. Maybe life here is comparatively great compared to the horrors that befell our fishermen before he arrived here. This looks pretty good. And now I've never been fishing in my life, but this game certainly does a good job of making it seem quite zen. I mean, look, I've even got time to read while I'm here. And one can only assume that. There's no problem charging equipment on a boat. If we have an engine that's powering the boat, surely it's going to be able to power my Nintendo Switch and let me play WarioWare... What's the latest one called? I just bought it and I can't remember the name of it. Pretty happy we've already got the upgrade parts here. Do I even have space to grab this? Stockholm Syndrome, Jake. You would understand. Not really. I got away from Stockholm. Oh, I hear noises. Sure, I could hear tall, dark, and ugly coming to get me from underneath the the waves. Okay. Wasted valuable dredging time. Still think he's coming. Maybe that's how the game gets you. Can't think of a way to fit in. There we go, Tetris Master doing it again. Alright, fully depleted. Extremely dark. Better take it easy on the way back. Thankfully, somebody put all these boys here. Tap into my inner Catholic church and follow the boys home. 
Ooh. Oh no no, that's clearly something bad. Give it the beans. Alright. Expertly done, if I dare say so myself. Like I say, I want those cargo slots, even if it costs me boom dollar. 300 quid. Well, there's nothing else to use these parts on, is there? One whole engine space. Say though, that was great work on the dredging. Mm, throw the last bit of cloth into storage. Really need to sell these doodads for some actual dosh, but we can do that elsewhere for now. We sleep, we catch, we upgrade, and then we could do some big catching. Although I might, I might get up a little early because there's some definite stuff that's only spawning here at night time. Sure, there's stonefish, but I was certain there was something else that just kind of disappeared. Yeah, see you over there. Is that you? Yeah, yeah, there's something here. Disturbing black sea bass. Take long to deplete. Some dredge with my name on it and some stonefish. I'll grab it all. How are the mutant fish treating you? Just fine. It was a little less fine when it cut me off from actually selling fish for a while. That, that felt like a, a bit of a dick move by the game. I wasn't impressed. But that doesn't seem to be a problem anymore. This is pretty cozy, all things considered. I'm gonna need a bit more space here. Can I even fit in? Hmm, I'm not sure I can. That ultimately doesn't change anything. I was trying to see if I could fit in the, uh, the metal dredge here, but I think I cannot. I'll have to sell what I have and come back later. Preparing for the Path of Exile career. I think I played Path of Exile a bit, and I really did not enjoy it. That's what I choose to remember, at least. Mm. You are making a killing off of me. I don't know if I like this very much. Mm. You and I have got to avoid rust as much as we can. There's no crew to bail us out if things go south. Don't compare yourself to me. God, you charge an arm and a leg for this stuff. Oh, a new Path of Exile. What do you mean a new Path of Exile? Path of Exile 2? You can tell how not engaged with that game that I am. I'd heard stuff about its skill tree, and that's why I loaded up the game to check out what it was all about, but ultimately the game did not interest me in any way. But man, was that one big chunky skill tree. Really felt like it never ended. Ding, ding, ding. Big catch. Mm. Any more for any more. Stonefish all the way over there. I just grab what's close by, sell my lot, and back I go. James, you're a big buggy. Can I grab another one? The answer is no. But it doesn't matter because there's no more left. 
Even Warframe's better than Pier. Now, I've never played Warframe, but I watched Helden play it. Just didn't seem very engaging. Right, off all of that goes, and now I can afford it. Most successful captains know to push their vessels to the limit. Are you running at peak efficiency? Uh, I have given up on running at peak efficiency. Right, there we go. Cargo space, get. Four whole ones. It's only 75 quid to get myself some more engine space. Yeah, the game definitely knows what the more important spaces are. Alright, very good. With this amount of space, how could I possibly not carve home a profit every day? Oceanic perches come to me because I've not done enough oceanic fishing to justify the thing that I've added. I liked Warframe for a few days, but then I'd seen everything. Nonsense, I'm under the impression there are thousands of hours of things to see in Warframe. Come on, come on. There we go. A gold standard oceanic perch. That doesn't sound very impressive, does it? Very idly fishing around here. Maybe I'm maybe I'm doing it wrong. Maybe I'm grinding up in a way that I should not. What I'm surprised about is that the game hasn't faked me out with little catching areas like this, but it turns out oh no, it's actually a rock. Or it's actually that nasty fish that keeps dinging your hull. Maybe that's coming. Just like the game fooling me with its crash to desktop. It is so dark here. It's great though. Very atmospheric game. In a way I feel bad for talking over it as much as I am. Is there really nothing else to be catching out here? Oh, well we can have a lovely kip after we sell our goods. Perhaps what I could have considered actually is buying some of these crab pots and dumping them out here, but I've been having a bad time with the crab pots, so I'm going to ignore them as best I can. Alright, very good. Out we go and we're finally going to check around the south of this island. Starting with this away. What have we here? Salmon, I can't stop for every fish. I'm here to explore a bit. I assume running into that sudden gale out of nowhere is going to ding my boat a bit, so I'll avoid that. Time to go back to the starting area? Not when there's more to explore here. Get all the fun of playing that seafaring Zelda game without having to play a Zelda game. Which one was that again? Wind Waker, I think it was. I never took to the whole cell shaded Zelda, but then I never took to Zelda beyond Majora's Mask. That was the end of it for me. Ah, Majora's Mask. Okay, Opal Ring. Was that one of the things I was trying to find? Mm, probably not. What have we here? Wreckfish, get your life together. Looks like yet more stuff to blow up, so I really need to go and find that guy who explodes things. Hello, what's your story? An altar. Three crab like creatures carved into it. Looks like I need to bring some crabs here, offer it to the altar, and then... question mark? Perhaps I can't avoid the crab fishing altogether. I don't want to catch too much here. Remember, I'm here for the dredge. Show me the dredge. What is this?
Ah, oh, research parts. Okay. Not so exciting. You need a vast number of research parts to make things worth your while. Wreckfish, dredge, perch. The day is wearing on though, where even am I? Can I get right back around to the start in due time? Would I want to? Look at all the stuff with my name on it over here. Quiet humming stone. Touch the stone. It does not respond to your touch. Ooh, unknown dredge. Let's have that. Perhaps I should be going at peak capacity a bit more. Well, it does make me insane though, doesn't it? Oh, pressing the wrong buttons here. Whoa! Are you going to keep following me? Oh, it looks like it. You do not want me grabbing that. Is it still after me? I think it might be. We we got to get at the beans. Get away from that thing. Is it still after me? Oh, I think it is. Good thing there's that lighthouse there, showing me the way. It'd be an even better thing if my lights were on. <laughs> Bells over there. I need to turn and make my way in. James, that was a bit dangerous. Oh, that's also dangerous. Oh, it leaves these rocks lying around. Almost made it all the way back without error. Oh, yeah. Well, it's just a stonefish, wasn't my wreck fish, but still, ouch. Mm. And they've already gone stale, you stale fish. Mm. Well, at least the day somewhat pays for itself. Still, that was that was disheartening. Back to the storage. Off goes the research part in the opal ring. And maybe we should rest up and head back to the starting area. After all, there was this brother guy that sells explosives, right? Uh, starting area will be north northwest up here. And give it the beans. Maybe it's finally time to invest in some light. Uh, granted, I do have more space on my ship now to invest in light. Have I already investigated you? I think I have. And let's make this trip back worth our while. I want some fish. Some big old oceanic fish to somewhat justify my expensive oceanic purchase. Ooh, including a weird shark thing. Bit naff that I can't rotate you a bit better. Can I actually fit in one more of these? I think I can. That's the spirit. Oh god, could I fit in yet more of these? I don't think so. My unwillingness to actually rotate the shark fish. Well, not rotate, but flip it. If I could flip it around, I could wedge it right in here. I think we'll leave it be. Sustainable fishing, after all. It's what we'll pretend to be about. Never could have dreamed of bringing home this much fish in one haul. Not until we did some expensive upgrading. Yeah, there 
not kidding about remembering where you'd put down your fishy crab catching things. I think you're only two units long. I can grab one of these. Oh no, it's another bleeding shark. Okay, well you keep your shark. Are you my crab pot? Needs repair. Okay, well you're coming with me then. Ah, haven't been back here in like a week or more. Lighthouse Keeper says, oh, it's me, yes. A vessel of an old friend. Yeah, well, what are you going to do about it? Fishmonger, haven't seen you in ages. And I got some nice stuff for you. I know how much you love these freaky... Whoa! 238 quid for the shark! I believe somebody once told me that oceanic fishing was a waste of time. I need to go and sell my doubloons and stuff across the bay, but that, that is some good stuff. <sighs> Fog has changed recently, lingering. Even in the midday sun, a malice. <sighs> oh, it doesn't sound like my problem. Fancy Dan Mayer? Yeah, I spent some time in Gilchlis. What did you have to say about it? Ingfell, Whaling Town, doesn't hear much about it. Jeez. It's a sad, pokey place to be the mayor of. I didn't get any extra dredge for you now, did I? No oh, siree. You know, maybe, just maybe, I could justify putting in some lights here, but it would really rip into the amount of space I have for storing fish. Also, look at that cost. Even so, there we go, running around like a headless chicken at night time is costing us a bit in terms of damage. Although maybe I should have considered whether or not the one pieces were better. Like, maybe two cloudy lenses are better than the halogen spotlight. But it's what we've got. There's also the idea of tossing away my rusty engine for a jet engine. Much more space efficient. Very expensive though, but... I do like space efficient. Also, how do we repair these things again? I won't claim to remember. Common design passively catches fish when deployed. Why is the best? I don't like this whole lasts for one day thing. I like uh, the act of fishing in this game feels quite nice. That said, how in the world do I repair these things again? That's selling, picking up, discarding. You have enough parts for research. That's a good point. Let's look into the old research. I have three research parts. I'd need to get myself a heat resistant line. Then I could do volcanic and shallow, but then I'd lose coastal. Hmm. There's these accursed crab pots which I don't particularly like. Like this, it does everything. I guess I'll work my way towards getting you, and then I can just have you as my one size catch all coastal shallow mangrove volcanic. Then the only thing I'm missing is a bissel and haddle, and that's whatever this thing is for. Coastal shallow volcanic shallow or mangrove coastal. I like the sound of volcanic. So I might forego my coastal catching and now grab you. Yes, yes. Can I go and buy that? Uh, for 290, I guess. Let's, uh, how do I uninstall you again? Hold that down, away you go. Shove you into my storage. 
somehow. There we go. And then you. Do I actually want you, now that I think about it? Why don't I save up all of my research and then just get the really good one? Nah, probably because that's a lot of research. Let's not be afraid. Let us invest in, invest in ourselves. The best way to put you in without blocking too much space. Both of these are functionally the same, so when you go here, I guess. Gives me two spaces for two by threes here. Alright, maybe not too shabby. We'll find out soon enough. Needs repair. How do I repair it? Oh, oh, right, there we go. R to repair all. How bizarre. Anyway, I guess I'll deploy you somewhere. For now, though, let's just take a kip. We'll go and sell our wares. Actually, I'll head over already. I want to sell my fancy stuff. Holy moly, look at that light! Blinding! Kind of makes it harder to see stuff that isn't lit up, though. Turning customer, please take this as a symbol of appreciation. Ah, books. At least in this game, we love reading. And I'm here to sell you my doubloons. My more doubloons. The silver trinket. This opal ring. And just like that, I'm a relatively rich man. Probably should have sold these old nasty fishing poles back at the place. I can't see myself using them right now. agreeable. Oh, I, I don't care about the painter. I'm not here to... Oh, hang on. I can deliver that flag. Hmm. Unique design. Do you want to attach it? Well, why not? Slightly pimp our ride. Otherwise, snoozy snoozy and out, out we go. Let's do some volcanic fishing, shall we? None of this starting, starter region bottom feeding fishing. However, there's some fancy stuff going on over here. Don't mind if I do. Apparently you have fancy stuff. Can I grab one more of you? I would dare to say that I cannot. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, but there's no more space for you. Is a bummer. When all else fails, give it the beans. Head over to Ingfell once again. Am I going the right way? Kind of. This is en route. Where is Volcanic anyway? I think I saw it just off the edge of Ingfell. I can get my spyglass out and check it once I'm there. Now, as for that shark that I let get away, by my good graces you live, and by my lack of it you... Oh, man. If we could just rotate them around. Just flip the freaking fish. Be done. What can be done? It's that light. Uh, it's all in that bleeding light. But don't worry just yet. You're talking to the Tetris Master here. Interesting. You can wait for it to cool off without passing time. Hmm. So time passage is an interesting thing in this game. Some things, some things move with the passage of time, some things move outside of time's clutches. That nasty serpent being one of the latter. 
You don't have the right... Oh, that's right. No more coastal fishing for us. We've got to go volcanic. Volcanic, shallow, and... Coastal. I love the sound of rain against the roof of my cabin. Is there anything better? I am in agreement there. I love the sound of rain. And as it happens, black tip beats bronze in terms of fish. Either way, it all gets sold. And do you repair my gra uh, basic fish uh, crab pots? Surely you do. Mm. Yeah, you repair them, but only on this screen. I guess I'll deploy a couple around here. This crappy little simple skimmer I think I'll just sell away. I, I regret this light already. It's taking up way too much space. Mm. Keep mixing up shipyard and floating dock. I forget which one does which. Need to go and dredge up some more metal scraps. Then I can get a couple of these upgrades and work our way towards tier 3. Silver Tongue's paying off. The refined metal is now 10% cheaper. I'm going to need it eventually, so the question might be why not just buy it now? So why not just buy it now? There we go. And the research parts are cheaper as well. We can always dredge those up. Really want to work my way towards this does everything uh, fishing rod though. Sizable though it may be. Alright, let's see if we can see what horrors await us in the volcanic area. Where was volcanic? Grab the old spyglass. Someone in the YouTube comments was saying that finally I'm someone that's using the spyglass for its intended purpose. Which makes it sound like there's some unintended purpose of using the spyglass. Heaven help me if I know what it is. I'm curious about the dredge over there. Let's make our way over to it. You can use a spyglass to spy on people. That eh, wouldn't be my thing. Besides, what are you reasonably going to spy on around here? Alright, what are you? Oh, flag. I mean, I do love my flags, but... Not in the context of this game. Hmm. Episcial, coastal, we can't do coastal. We robbed ourselves of that. Hello, tiger, tiger mackerel. Sailfish over there. Those are worth decent dosh. Some dredge over there. Might grab myself that sailfish and then head on back. I shouldn't be too worried about the darkness since I've got this chonking big Flood light attached to the front of my ship now. I'm concerned with coming back with some kind of catch. Come to me. Oh, I didn't deploy these things, did I? I did not. Only a few cat crabs around here, apparently. I want it to be somewhere far out, because that's bound to be where the good stuff is, but I don't want it to be somewhere that I forget about. Oh, oh! I wonder what you'd be worth if I brought you back. This is an old whaling town, after all. Even though there's only a few here, at least it'll be easy to remember where you are. storage. We rest up, and there's yet more dredging to be done. Mm, but where would we reasonably go from here to drop stuff off? Where's the volcanic area? I don't know the question. Maybe over by this other boy? Also, what have we here? Mm -hmm. 
course, my laughing equipment. Yeah, maybe we were between these rocks. An easy thing to remember. It's a shame I can't mark it on my map. Although it's very shallow and it still just says a few fish here. Alright, we can think about that later. I'm on the hunt for a volcanic fish to grab. Sturgeon. It's oceanic, sure. Ah, oceanic weird half-head fish thing. Go grab that. Next to the shop it said there were plenty. Really? This is nice. Good water. Eh, it's just noises. Just like the sounds of a house settling. Holy mother lord, you are big, and I cannot fit a lot of you. Well, I can only fit one of you. Good thing you were depleted in one go. I doubt. Where's the volcanic stuff? Sunfish, blackfin tuna. Mmm, now that does sound tasty. Over there. I'm gonna grab you and double back. I'll maybe keep things simple, just dropping the fish out uh, the crab pot off next to the shop. Tasty, but small. Mm. Ah, a meter long blackfin tuna. I do love tuna. I love eating fish, period. Can't think of a fish that I've had and went, ooh, this is nasty. But no, I haven't had lutefisk. I'm going a bit slow. Let's give it the beans to get home. Set our ship on fire on the way back. Where in the world was the volcanic area then? Hmm. Volcanic's probably in the other region, something like southwestern part of the map. That's what I'm thinking. Must have been in another area that I saw the volcanic stuff. Hello, what's your story? No can do. It's coastal. Not all fish are traded equally. Smaller species can sometimes be more delicious and more valuable. Well, that's not the case for these blackfin tunas. But I'm glad to see that the sunfish is still fresh. Boy, that was not worth getting the gold star on. Bad catch. Alright, perhaps somewhere around here there's a... Oh, there we go. There are indeed plenty of crabs around here. How about you, though? Whoa, easy does it now. Rock crab. Is that the crab that the thingy wanted? It, it looked like it wanted a different shape of crab than this. It looked like it wanted a an eight square sized crab. Either way, if you're fresh, I'll have you. that much, are you? Mm -hmm. Or just enough crabs to fill the... Yeah, it could just be shoving crabs until it's done, but as I said, the crab fishing clearly ain't much for me. Right, dear righty. Wasn't I meant to talk to someone that would get me explosives back around here? I didn't spy anyone that was doing that for me. I think I'll make my way over to Stellar Basin tomorrow and see what's what. Pass our way through here, dock up and see what there is to be had.
Take a good night's sleep. Something that adds to the cozy feeling of this game is that there aren't ongoing costs, or if there are, they've managed to pass me by successfully. One last look at my crab pot. Oh, hello. Well, I'm sure you'll still be there when I get back. Not even paying for the repairs of the crab pot with that. Yeah, I certainly feel like I'm getting jibbed a bit with that. Oh, hang on, hang on. Is that dredge? No, it's fish. Fish I can't even catch. Man's time around here. Not more looking for dredge than anything else. Clues in the name, after all. Hello, hello. Could be anything here. Also, the looks to be something worth investigating over by the land. Come to me, shapes in the deep. The Frogger Master will have what's due. Ooh, sapphire earrings. Sapphire, huh? I have no idea what value that has. Who did figure with dirty ropes? The deep call beyond. Answer. Who wants a red snapper? That sounds like not my problem. It's also coastal, and I can't do coastal. You managed to dodge the fairy that tells me the massive debt you've inherited. I'm not having anything to do with you, Tyr. Such exploitation. Do I want to circle around there? If I do that, I'm not getting to Stellar Basin in time for uh, nightfall, so let's make our way over to Stellar. It's, it's pretty cool, there's nothing really stopping you immediately going out to these areas, but lack of engine upgrades early on means you're going to be crawling your way there and out at the mercy of the deep. Looks like civilization over there. Also looks like a hotter climate. Hot enough for... Hmm, can do shallow but not coastal, right? I can go and grab some dredge from there, some dredge from there. Shallow there, but where's the volcanic stuff? Well, we might never know. Alright, just trying to drop everything on the way towards this weird, tiki looking village. It's Kilika. You are new, Barracuda. I'd say it sounds like a made-up word, but all words are made up. There's quite a few barracudas around here. I hope these people buy fish. Imagine if they didn't. Oh, this is a flag, isn't it? Uh, what a waste of time. Anchor flag. Ooh. Dredge has changed. Oh, right, no, that's just the uh, wee puddly things lighting up underneath. That's kind of cute. Looks like Yuna's gonna walk over it before ascending. Alright, lumber. Always space in my life for some more wood. I can grab two more of them at that. I think I heard a door barking at me as well. One more? No more. A bit more dredge to be out here. Hang on, is this even a place that I can stop at? It's starting to look like it is not. Which is more, there's stuff out there. I might regret hanging around here for as late as I am doing. Uh, I don't think any amount of jiggery pokery gets me another bit of dredge in here. Ooh, dearie me, right, well. Looks to be something over there, so if I just pretty much head straight along, it should be okay. But let's be in a position to just give it the beans if we need to. What 
is that? Can I catch that jellyfish? Doesn't appear to be something I can catch. There's a lighthouse over there. It's got to be a good sign. All these cool looking jellyfish. But I do wonder if they're going to be a problem for me. Hello? Laboratory? Check everywhere. I don't have storage here. Prototype parts on the table. No use for them. Not safe. Expect retaliation imminently. Hope that's not a warning to me. Tracks in the base of the structure. Something large and powerful. Wanted research. Seems like a dangerous place to stay. But I do want to sell my fancy goodies while I'm here. I'm just not sure I want to do that at midnight. I think we need to get a little, little bit of a rest. 3 a.m. is surely enough. There's a lighthouse over there. There's also something over there. Friend or foe, I simply don't know. Mm, let's hedge our bets with civilization. Also, there's plenty of dredge to be had around here, but if nothing else, I need a storage spot to dump my goodies. Going through abandoned cupboards. This is a long dark. Maybe you'll find some maple syrup. The long dark. Uh, they announced, I believe, part four of the expansion coming, I think, December, they said. It's going to have a new area. It's going to have toxic wolves. Not sure how I feel about that. No abyssal stuff. Can't check that out. Please give me storage and somewhere to sell my wares here. Don't. I got storage, but I doubt this researcher is going to pay me for my goods. Wasn't expecting visitors. I'm nobody. Your ship's a fisherman and you, you look as though. Pleasure to meet you all the same. Collecting samples, research outpost, attacked by a large creature. I know the feeling. Fled here. <sighs> you want a glowing octopus, a firefly squid, and an aurora jellyfish? Coastal, coastal, and shallow. Sadly, I can't do coastal. Maybe I can find you that glowing octopus. Mm, perhaps at some point. I don't think I've been reading my relaxed mind book. There we go. It's weird that it doesn't just automatically go over to your uh, available book. <sighs> Studied bioscience, it was a struggle. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Thought I'd relish the peace and quiet. Oh, I would. I miss having company. Okay, we need to back away. Mm. Disturbed by my monitoring equipment, dozens of machines, all powered by noisy generator. Yeah, well, mm. kind of brought this on yourself here, haven't you? Kind of nice that nobody has a name. Preoccupied, rebuild, I've forgotten, letters, sister, keep finding them amongst papers. Hmm. We're all seeing weird stuff around here. Anyway, not interested in you because you're not buying my fish, but you do have a storage facility. And fortunately, these are magical storage facilities. I'm going to transfer all goods between them. Hold on, can I research while I'm here? Not worth looking into. Ditch the flag, ditch the earrings. My fish are going stale, which is not good. I can research while I'm here. In that case, get the anti-tangle line research so I can work on the versatile rod. Three more research parts needed, and then I'm really going to regret buying this one-size-fits-all rod and never using it. Well, that's okay. Regret is part of life. No regrets, no life. Okay, 
one last shot at... Ooh, I see a bottle. This is Abyssal, right? Yeah. This game is a good one, says Floopsing. I think it's pretty good. More dredge to be had. I do like dredge, but I really need to sell my goods. Maybe, just maybe, this other place that's dead ahead is going to buy my stale fish. Uh, don't really have time for fishing more. This stale fish is going to rot. On the other hand, more trinkets. I forget, can this stuff be research? Oh, what could be sapphire rings? Barracudas and what looks like civilization? At least I get to enjoy some dredging before Delta Force 2 -ing. I don't know how fun that game is going to be. I, I give it a 50 50. It looks like it might be old jank, but it also looks like it might be fun old jank. Oh, thank god, there's a fish market here. Oh, it's my traveling friend! And this stuff still hasn't gone completely south, so I can probably sell it all. And then I can shove that in storage, and I got plenty of space to get more goods. Happy days! Nothing to repair is also happy days. How do I keep clicking shipyard when I need dock? Still need a chunk of metal for you. Can I work on the new hull already? No, but the new hull needs a lot of everything. I need three chunks of metal. And then I need a lot of everything. But look at that, nine cargo spaces. Conceptualize the fish. Alright, so whilst I do want some hot area fishing, which this does not seem to provide. It's oceanic, but this is, really is abyssal area, isn't it? So had I'm definitely not kitted out correctly for this region. Exactly, more cargo, more money. Something new out there. New is inherently worth checking out. Maybe use your other fishing rod until you actually find volcanic fish. That would be too sensible, Marvin. Plus, I don't want to spend the hours of refitting my equipment. Boy. Okay, more space. On the other hand, we need to actually fit in the stuff that we do have. I'm not sure I can get another hammerfish shark in here. In fact, I'm rather certain that I could not. Not that it matters, there isn't really space... Well, there's no fishing to be had anymore. More blackfish tuna, more hammerhead sharks... More unknown. More barracudas. I guess I'll just head back and see what this shark is worth. Are you running Factorio in the background? Uh, I'm only doing that with a children's card game. But I intend on doing that tomorrow. Hopefully after some DDR. Should yet have space for more of these barracudas. One more. Got a whole lot to afford here. We're not even done. Bonk pots can be quite profitable. <laughs> yeah. Who are you kidding? Let's take this. Regular fishing has proven to be rather profitable, although granted, crab fishing is kind of automated. I feel like going for it. Ooh, wasn't I meant to grab one of these for the research lassie? I'm not sure how much I care about helping her, or for that matter, anyone else. Not when I can have a glowing octopus for myself. She didn't say she needed them fresh, right? Why the bioluminescence? Lord, I can fish 
fish a fair number of these things out. Right, I'm more than a little curious. Glowing firefly. I guess I'll bring a glowing octopus. I'm not a complete nasty piece of work. Definitely sell the cool, nasty version of it. Keep you for the researcher and then head on out. Yeah, you know, an excellent point is made. Let's switch things out to the dock. Of course, it's not dock. You have to grab everything you see out there. That wreck salvage isn't going anywhere. Are you trying to tell me to uninstall my hydraulic rod so I can have more space? Kind of sounds like what you're saying. Let's put you in storage, and let's go and shove in my coastal and shallow rod. There we go. Doesn't really free up space, but it feels like it does. I'm wondering if I should ditch the hydraulic rod. See, the stuff I'm looking for... Firefly squid and aurora jellyfish. And those, as I recall, were not oceanic. So I'll uninstall you for now. There we go. That gives us loads of space. Let's go and grab the stuff for the researcher then. Let's be a nice guy. Who's over there? Right? Old Fortress is a new research outpost, that's right, hello, what do we have here? What do we have, there's plenty of it. Coral Group, is that what I was after? I'll be honest, I wasn't paying attention to the names. If they're not, I can double back and sell them. But there's plenty of them to be had. Could be quite a profitable run for us. Heavens, there's still more to be had. No, it was not. Have you tried the nets? I have not yet tried the nets. Must be nice for uh, a nice guy for a woman who'll only the past three months. I see Jake is going through those marriageable types. is insane. Gotta be careful not to sell all. I don't want to get rid of that glowing octopus. Well, there's more fish to be had here, but... Yoink. Gonna need it eventually. Once I find that metal slag. There'll be no end for my needs for money. Yes, I have the Pale Reach DLC. I'm guessing the Pale Reach is in the far south. Still not worth much dosh, but you know. Clearly going for the hundred percent thing. Undock, still plenty of hours left in the day to find the goodies. Barracuda, some dredge, more dredge. Granted, I didn't need the dredge, but not to help that lastly. I think I'll take a look around the outside here. She didn't say she needed the fish to not be horrifically rotten. Cabin for the bonuses. 10% chance not to reduce fish stocks when catching. That's sustainable fishing. What did I just read? I think it was a relaxed mind, so 10% panic resistance. I know nothing but panic resistance. Hmm. 
Still stale, not rotten yet. It's been a long time since so I've eaten octopus, and I don't recall eating an octopus that glue. Er, glowed. Not wrong, the dredge isn't going anywhere. Large scrap of paper. <laughs> This <laughs> scrap of paper is taking an obscene amount of space up in my ship here. Alright, well, I can still surely make my way around to the... Oh, hello! This is probably what we're after. Looks good. Come to me. Uh, firefly squid, is that what I was after? I think so. Firefly feels like a word I read recently. Might be catching a touch too much, though. Okay, I, I can't actually fit in anymore. Let's make our way over to the docks. Mm -hmm. I'm glad I've got this extra chunky light so I can see what's coming. It's nice not to just have rocks jump out of me and cost me 60 quid worth of damage. Yeah, it says large. Who am I to underestimate just how large? What about those specimens? Here's a rotting one. Here's a less rotting one. And now we need the Aurora Coastal Jellyfish as well. These ones... Uh... Actually, can you tell me a bit about those fish? No, just that it's an, just that it's coastal. Don't know if it comes out at night or day. Put those in storage. Probably rot away anyway. But ah, look at that! Definitely some kind of treasure map. Well, before we go to sleep, let's maybe spend a bit of time looking around. That's Abyssal. Glowing octopus, we know about you. Firefly squid. Maybe it was those glowing jellyfish that seemed to come out at me. Look at that light. Could be like the glowy jellyfish. If so, how do I grab you? Just like stick my arm out into the water? That doesn't seem to work. Didn't damage my ship, but maybe I need to net you. Double back for that net and grab them that way. Which is a shame, as I have neglected net technology. Oh boy, that thing really wants me. Whoa, to an inappropriate degree. Ooh. Right here. Storm ain't right. What the? <laughs> yeah. Hardly seen fair, but okay. He was giving it the full beans and it really came for me. Alright, well at least I didn't get rid of anything and I can sell my gradually getting more and more stale catch here. Which might pay for repairs. 
You're in cahoots with even the weather, aren't you? Oh, cool, I can sell my research parts for a boon dollar. We won't, but it's nice to know that we can. Plenty of doubloons and things to sell. Good to know. But I'm still on the hunt for metal salvage. Now, we've come to the conclusion that I need a net off of you. It's basic, though. Hmm. Is it worth looking into a better net whilst I wait on the versatile rod? Improved net. Yield 10 per day. If you buy one more research part, you can buy that everything rod. Apparently it's two more. Damn. Damn indeed. I do like the look of the everything rod. Research is very expensive, but I think I'll buy it anyway. I mean, it's not hard to get money, but these things seem difficult to get. Will I take your refined metal as well? Yeah, sure, I'll spend all the money. Still in the hunt for regular metals, but this is okay. I kind of do want that everything... Uh, that everything pole. But I don't have the space for the everything pole is worth keeping in mind. Yeah, yeah, it's not doing anything for me just yet. Mm -hmm. Eight per day, five by five. I mean, that is pretty good, isn't it? I'm gonna try my luck. First of all, first off, research that net. Then I'm gonna buy the net. Which you were just holding out on me, weren't you? And then, and then. I already fixed up my boat, right? Looks like it. Alright, let's see if we can figure out how to do it. Select the troll net with E, lower it with a right click. Nets catch things as you move but need repairing every so often. Alright, well we're gonna wait till night time, and by wait I mean do some catching until night time. Although maybe I could just, you know, have it catch right now. Does that mean I, like, drag it through here? Or is it just something that passively happens? Don't know. Guess we'll find out soon enough. At least the sentient storms aren't after me right now. I'll take you. Add space for you. Now, how about you? Do I just drag myself through you, or what? That didn't seem to work. Something slithers into your cargo hold. Ooh, sinister. I like it. Alright, well, you buy all of this weird stuff. Ooh, look at that, it's infected! And that really ruins its value. Is she gonna remark on it? No, she still pays me for it though, which is rather nice. There's nothing in my net. I thought I got two things in my net. Oh, oh, did I accidentally sell what was in the net? I think sell all fish sold the net as well. Ah, crumbs. Okay, well, out we go. As long as there was nothing to fix. Let's keep it in good nick. I think you had two in it. Yeah, it said that, but I didn't think sell all would quite sell all. 
Alright, you. Get in the net. Thump. Oof. Did that get it? I don't think I'm quite understanding how to grab these things. Hey, Aurora Jellyfish get. And, you know, the net is kind of nice in that it's giving me a separate storage area. Chunk. World-class glowy octopus. The tea block octopus. At least out here I don't have that giant serpent coming to get me. Right, about turn and make our way over to cast off the Aurora Jellyfish. Make the researcher happy. I hope she pays me in the big bucks. I think the jellyfish corrupted your other fish. Sounds reasonable. Does slither around, does it not? Okay, researcher. About that specimen. Hey, there we go. I don't know this thing's value. Caught all the surface. Oh, don't say surface specimens. Deeper down. I developed a device to retrieve samples from Abyssal Zone. Could I not just go and take it? going around helping people so much. I don't care that much. Ditch those, they may go stale, but... Oh, wow, not even enough space in my storage locker for this. At least not if we don't actually think hard about how we put these things in. It's not that hard. There we go. Mm, but I should go and get that stuff sold before it all goes nasty and stale. Uh, I'll look not keeping this thing deployed. I've got to say the net's pretty nice, that sweet passive income. Disturbed? Abys yeah, of course we don't have the goodies for that. I'm going to go down, sell my goodies, and then what? Go off to a new area, I suppose. I have not had any luck finding metallic dredge around here, and metallic dredge is what I need for my upgrades. On the other hand, this has been a rather profitable place to be. And if we're keen on just ignoring the story this game is trying to tell, and just playing it straight like an economics game, then this place has been very good to us. I'm still at a loss as to why we're here. Seymour Guada would say, why are you still here, sir? Octopi are incredibly intelligent. They can open a jaw. But do they know why they want to open that jaw? Riddle me that. You're a little too large for what I can fit in here, I would dare to say. I do like just keeping this net deployed and making the passive income. It's just the extra storage space that's nailing it for me. Right. Good, 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 good. Let's have a look at that net. And just like that, the net has been more profit to me than these gosh darned crab pots. Even those old nasty fish are still fresh. A lovely time to be alive. Mm, it does stop me doing oceanic fishing, but I think the net is just plain better with that in mind. Coastal, shallow. Need a bit more research to get my all in one fishing line. 
Although there's also the abyssal approach, but you know what, I think we can come back and deal with that later. I still want to find some volcanic fishing to do, but more than anything I need metal scraps, and we're not finding that here, so away we go, go. We are going to head probably back to Greater Marrow, and then maybe head north in the search of metal scraps. I can open a jar. No one ever called me intelligent. Depends what the jar was. A jar of source strumming inside the cinema. Probably wouldn't be called intelligent. What the heck? Oh jeez. Well, okay. That seemed a bit out of nowhere. Just digging up dredge and suddenly, no, you're dead now. Okay. Okay then. Cozy fishing game. Now that seemed a little inappropriate. What even did that? Perhaps it's that. See, there's some kind of slithering thing down there. Is it going to do that again? Yes, yes it does. Does it do that every time that I'm over here? If it's that easy to load a save, then I don't mind just coming over here. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm seeing that now. It kind of looks like Lord Oak Chew down there. Yeah, that, that did seem a bit excessive, Wetter Doctor. Oh, well, good thing this game has autosaves. Imagine having to redo this whole session today. Probably would have turfed the game if it did that. Because that, that really was a just... No, you die now. Anyway, it's still my plan to head back up to the starting-ish area, and that's going northeast. I'll just let my let my net do the work for me. Curiously, if I change out to this, does it undeploy the net? Ah, looks like the net's still out doing its work. Which rod do we need for that big fella? I think we need the harpoon gun for that big fella. that over there? Dread, sure, but also looks like some busted down opportunity. Ah, metallic dredge. My favorite. I will take it all, please. Wait a second, this isn't metallic dredge. Well, does Bag of Doubloons count? Perhaps, but I'm certain I saw Metallic Dredge. Not friendly squids. Not a message in a bottle. There's a limit to how far down I can turn this hourglassy thing, which makes it a little hard to spot, but... I am certain I... Oh, it's right next to me. There we go, this is what I need. We have been really dire on metal. I'd rather a bit I can. Upgrade this, upgrade the hull. So the next time we run into Tentacle Freak, we can maybe take another dinging. Alright, uh, what was that message in a bottle? That doesn't matter, I didn't really want it anyway. On the other hand, maybe, maybe we should hold off. Head back to the research outpost and uh, wait until tomorrow. Wait till light approaches. And then make our getaway. Certainly is beautiful here, though. 
This game is hardly high fidelity, but it's very well stylized. A distinction I am keen on making quite a lot. Disturbed water, it doesn't matter, it's Abusu! Boy, do you want to get in my net? Annette Birkin. Uh, they're fresh for now. Let's just shove them away. Have a nice kit. Unless there's other stuff to shove in the storage. Oh yeah, of course, these these aren't going to go not fresh. And then make our way back to the center port. Sleep up until dawn. That's dawn enough for me. Let's go. Got a long journey to make. Go faster if we are giving it the beans. Must have been such a great invention when the net was made. All that fishing you can do, and all you have to do is wave the net around. Mm -mm -mm. Wouldn't keeping it in the net keep it fresh since it's still alive? I don't know. we head out from here. I don't see anything that looks worth my time. I could have sworn someone wanted a red snapper from me. Oh yeah, the hooded figure wanted a red snapper. Well, I'm no charity case, so he's going to have to feed himself. the fish out being carried around in this net though. Well, maybe they think it's great. It's like, hey, I'm swimming, but I don't have to put in any effort. Hmm. Don't know. I'm not a fish. I am, however, overshooting my destination. Real life trawling the net like that with the catches in it is probably not a got idea. Why not? Oh, hey, look! Friendly orca things! Oh, a cute little whatever noise that is. Just like that, we're back home, I think. No, I once again overshot my destination. There we go, there's the starting lighthouse. Sell my catch, sell my trinkets, sell my soul. I think that's one of my old crab pot things. Nasty old crab, but still fresh. Take it all. Hmm? And the and the pot, please. Really, really not sold by these crab pots. Maybe it's because I haven't upgraded them, maybe I'm putting them in the wrong place, but... Just... Nah. I might just sell the crab pots, although they did cost me quite a bit of money. The idea of the passive income lured me in. I just hope nobody ever wants crabs off of me. What have you got for me today? I hate these crab pots. Take them back. Hmm. Oh, that sold all the fish. Oh, I wanted to sell the crab pot. That's weird. You hold down to sell the crab pot, but it sells the fish before the crab pot. That ain't right. Uh, what have I got in the net? Wait, where's all the fish in my Oh, God, that sell all sells those as well. Alright, can I sell all these as well? No, you can't hold down to sell these. Some weird UI things in this game, that's for sure. sorting out to be done here, but for first and foremost, let's get to that upgrading. There you go. More engine space that I'm unlikely to use. And more rod space that I'm going to use when I get my better rod. 
I'm more interested in this though, the even better hull. Wood and wood and wood and wood and double refined metal that cost me a fortune. And cloth and I'm out. But someday I won't be. Two more bits of cloth and one more scrap of metal. So that's the next on our to get list. You wouldn't happen to sell any of that stuff, would you, shipwright? That's a no. Passive income luring you in is big on YT. Huh? YouTube? I don't get it. Alright. I got three. Can't quite afford that rod, but I want that rod. Although I regret buying this rod. Alright, let's just shove it in. Boop, boop, boop. Cannot have. No indication of what unlocks this, though, but perhaps this gets unlocked. Oh, I forgot to go and grab the, the, the lassie's stuff from her research place. Ooh, do I want to go back and do that? Because it probably unlocks the abyssal um, hooking of stuff. I'm going to grab some metal first. I'm going to sell my junk, maybe even sell this heat-resistant line. Yeah. Well, there's no rush to do that now. I'll sell the rest of my junk. Mm -hmm. It seems you can already research them. I don't think so. Normally things that you can research are coloured in. This is not. There's no option to even click on it. I think this becomes available once we check out our old research lab. That's what I choose to believe. Alright, alright. Okay. First things first, sell off my trinkets. Second thing second, get some metal. Then go to the research area and research that abyssal stuff, get my get everything net, and then do some new kinds of fishing. It all makes sense. Hello trader. You know you say trader, but do you ever sell anything? Sapphire ring, doubloons, more doubloons, sapphire earrings, more sapphire earrings. I got two relatively useless flags. You don't want to buy my scrap paper? How dare you. Hmm? Here's a flag. Hmm. Hmm. What's that Ouroboros? Hmm. Uroboros, where have I heard that before? Was that an Astro Boy spin off manga? Hmm. What was that called? I think it was called Pluto. But Pluto wasn't the interesting character in that, it was some hardened guy called Gishalt or something like that. Right, anyway, let's rest up for a wee bit. And then we're heading on out. with our net out, of course. So, down we go to Dusty Pontoon, because that place had more metal scraps than anywhere else we've been before. I look forward to watching the Pluto Adaption. Pluto Adaption? You mean an anime of it? Can't think of ever being excited about hearing about an anime adaption. I was just here, watch a worse version of something you've enjoyed. Eyes peeled for metal. Fulfill the hunger. He wants a blue mackerel. That's coastal. Can I get you a blue mackerel? I haven't fulfilled any of these poor hooded figures' demands, but you know what? I uh, I might not be a charity case, but I'm not a monster. That guy explicitly said he was hungry, and that some blue mackerel would help hit the spot. Let's go and get him a blue mackerel. Feed poor hungry man.
Alright, what do these guys even do for me? Expert precision, they plunge their hands through the gullet, tear out the heart, and stuff it into their mouth. He wants more. Jeez. Yeah, if I could easily find you a tiger mackerel, I would consider it. Down here. Golf flounder. Yeah, you know what, chap? I have helped you out enough. And enough is enough. Oh, hang on. Maybe there's one in my net. There is not. You're all out of luck. In fact, the blue mackerel was already there. I'm, I'm not going around on. We fetch quests for mysterious magicka extras. I'm here for me. Oh, help the nice lad. I did help the nice lad. If his reaction is off, could you help me a bit more, please? And then I say, no. And no, I will not. I'm on the hunt for metal. I wonder if uh, the dredge is limited, because it doesn't seem to come back, does it? Could at least go and get crabs, though. And, uh, yeah, while I'm here... I'm getting a bit bad at this uh, catching routine. I used to be a lot better. I'll blame it on how tired I am. My busy life of laughing at Alpha who uh, tried once again at the Factorio Death World 100%. He gave it two goes yesterday. And uh, I was there, and I made a killing on the gambling, that's for sure. They come with me as well. Also, all those crabs, are they going to pay off that crab pot? Because I don't think they are. Poor, poor Alpha. <laughs> well, at least he's had fun, is what I'd say, if he had fun, but he did at several occasions say that he wasn't having fun. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Jinx, look at how not worth my while those crabs are. The net, on the other hand, already paying me the dividends. Decent dosh. Anyway, let's get rid of this. Garbage. And then let's fix her up, repair everything. Get myself that research part? Was I waiting on one more bit of research? Or did I already do the research? Now I can't even remember. That's not what I'm after. This is what I'm after. Yeah, I need one more research part. And since I am filthy stinking rich, I don't think it's too big of a bad deal to just buy it. Yoink. There we go, versatile rod get. And do we have the space for it? We do, so. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm just selling up big time. I always forget if it's floating dock or shipyard. Yeah. Right. Right, off you go. I'm all right, it was sell this. It just wasn't, wasn't doing it for me. Versatile rod might cost an arm and a leg, but I'm sure it's going to pay itself right off. Especially if I flip you around. Yeah, there we go. Five hours well spent of installation, but now we can catch pretty much everything. Coastal, shallow, mangrove, volcanic. Uh, I will sadly have to replace this improved troll net, most likely, with the abyssal grabbing, but them's the brakes, and while we're at it, why do I take this jet drive engine just so I can move around faster? That's the tickety-boo. Not oceanic, really? Yeah, but you need this deep stuff for oceanic. Hydraulic rod versus improved trawl net. There's the thing, the oceanic fish are worth the big bucks, but... Not enough to justify that, I would dare to say. Okay, so I'm still on the hunt for some metal. 
But now we've got some reasonable speed on this thing. Hang on, did I already grab you? What in the world is that? Decorator crab. Sure, take that. While we're at it, what is it worth? Well, not nearly enough to make me want to hang on to these crab pots. At least I tried them. Normally I'm very dismissive without even trying something. Right, we're on the hunt for the metal. Where's the metal? Oh, oh what? God, straight away found the metal. Old hawk-eyed Jake here, you can't keep me from it. <laughs> oh, gosh. There we go. Sneezing with anticipation of my new hull. Ah, but it wasn't just that. Don't I also need some cloth? I seem to recall needing some cloth. Hmm, where was the cloth? This is wood, I think. I want you to shove fish into my net. Cargo looks like the only option here, but perhaps there's more. Can we jiggery poke this any further? instincts tell me maybe no the awkwardness of that halogen spotlight is doing me in well they do say that the dredge is going nowhere fast I'm probably right let's double check on the requirements of the hull upgrade including the money the elastic engine extension kind of screwed up the cargo layout. Yep. Might have made a bit of an error there. That way, what's not get in there? Fish market. Look at that net. Just passive income. Thirty-five dollar dues just from that. Uh, as to those guys over to storage, they go. Yeah, this this blocks a lot of stuff. Could actually uninstall the rusty engine, shove the jet drive in its place, make do with the slower speed but the better space. Many things to consider. Yeah, two bits of cloth needed. Aye, aye, aye. Not only that, it costs 800 smackaroos. And you don't do me the, the good grace of selling me any cloth, do you? No. No, you do not. Right, you know what? I might actually just sell this. And enjoy having a bit more space instead. I'm going to be slightly slower, but that's okay. Although I could maintain the same speed by shoving in another jet drive. Things don't come cheap, though. I think I'll keep the extra space. I'm sure I like that halogen spotlight. It's too much space that it's taking up. Mm, but it, it does very admittedly help out a lot at night time. Need more speed. Alright, you've convinced me of that. Here you go. Alright, more speed, more better. But we're still going to sleep until daytime. Need two bits of cloth, after all. It's keeping track of the passage of days, which makes me wonder if there is anything to that. We've already been around. Let's go around. Let's go through the center. Ooh, 
feels nice and nippy like this. I never did find someone with the power to explode through those rocks. Anything hiding around the back here? Perhaps some nice dredge with my name on it? Oh Jesus, look who's back! Stop ruining my boat! Jeez, they were not happy with me there. How much did you do? <laughs> you hit me three times. Just rammed me against the corner there. Yes, I'll need to fish a bit to pay that off. Although these fish aren't worth diddly. And yeah, I lost the golden fish there. Got too excited. He really doesn't want me getting that ring. Which is a shame, because I want me getting that ring. <laughs> yeah, maybe the guy wanting this tiger mackerel had a word with his lad. There we go, go. Hopefully that can pay for the repairs. I still need some cloth. Two bits of cloth for that matter. Two hundred quid. On the other hand, repairing all of this costs a hundred quid. <laughs> ah, jeez. Maybe over there, there's some nice dredge for me. I have already checked that. There's the tiger mackerel that he wanted. Oh, cloth dredge. There we go. Then I'm in for a winner here. Quite a bit of dredge, cloth and otherwise. Alright, the cloth dredge takes the priority for the hull upgrade. I don't think I've ever been to hull. Doesn't sound like an upgrade though. As I recall the joke from Spaced goes, it's from hell. Oh, hull. Mm. Right, yeah, more cloth, more cloth, more better. Gotta consider that I want the further upgrade for capacity after that as well. Dredge up the wood. Which feels like it goes a bit slower. You know, maybe it's for the better that this game clocks in at a very short time on how long to beat. Because as charming as it is, there's only so many times you can play Frogger to get your catch. I suppose that's why they give you things like the crab pots and the net, so you don't have to constantly be doing that. Ooh. What are those whispers doing? Now they're knocking out my light for one, but that's okay. They're already here. Oh, there we go. Even though we didn't go out for any proper fishing, we still made a little bit of a bundle. At least enough to repair our net. Now, the big thing. In you go. In to go. And the next thing I want, of course, is going to be the bigger hull. And for that, we'll need... Oh, you know, I almost have everything I need here. Not... oh god. Oh god. There we go. Not too shabby. A bit of metal, a bit of cloth, and a few hundred simoleons. And we have even more cargo space. Are these the ones that it's offering, or are these the new ones that we already have? That's what it's offering. Even so, mmm. That is a nice looking loadout. So much better than before. 
Alright, splendid. In that case, just have a wee, a wee bit of a kit. Undock and... Hell, if there was some dredge over there, that's bound to be more. That's how it works. Oh, now. Don't trust those storms. Yeah, look at our boats looking real pimped up now. I thought I left myself a, a wee crab thing over between here, but I guess I imagined doing that. Our fish. I'm not here for fish, though. I'm here for dredge. But the fishing is necessary as well, so come to me. Oh, they're just the wee crappy little fish. Now, so bad. beans, more speed. Where did the net go? Uh, I must have not deployed the net for some reason. Why would I not deploy my net? I don't like what I hear. What was that? The serpent. No, the serpent is nowhere to be seen. Let's make him paranoid. Maybe the maybe the serpent will get caught in my net. Will be the biggest catch. This is not the dredge I'm looking for, though. I shouldn't probably stop for every fish I see. Organic perch. Trinkets. I grab the trinkets, but this looks promising. What could be here? Aha! What I'm after is here. Excellent. First off, give me the metal. I have the lumber, but I need the, wet, uh, the metal, and I need the cloth. Wait a second. That's neither of those things. That's a research part. Give me the actual metal. I'll turf the fish overboard if I have to. And at this rate, I might have to. Oh, there's even more dredge. Ooh, this puts me in an awkward situation. I was simply joking about wanting to throw over the, the rat fish, but I do want this metal. Never seem to have enough of this stuff. Alright, which of these is the crummiest? 112, get out of here. And I should have space for a bit of cloth, which is good, because there's a bit of cloth over here. Hey, who knocked out my lights? There we go. Scared by a bit of late night dredging. Heck, night times where you get your best catch. I think that's the first knock I've taken while playing the dredging Frogger. Alright, there we go. Victory shall be ours. And not only that, a lovely passive income from the net. It's making me feel like I'm making a great decision. Whoop, no light. What was that? I don't know. Try putting the fish in the net. Yeah. I don't appear to be able to toggle over to the net. Part of me feels like there are some nice exploits you could do with the UX in this game, but I'm not going to troll for those. What do I do here? 
Something unknown. Ooh, ooh, more metal dredge. Again? Jenks, oh, there's some decent income of a variety to be had around here. Oh boy, oh boy. Look, I know you want inside my net, but... I'm interested in living here. Oh. There we go. Too scared to get me. Stale, stale, still worth money. Mm. It's selling me research and refined metal, but at this point I'm a little shy on the ducats. Uh, no, I keep clicking on the wrong thing. Still clicking on the wrong thing. Far be it for me to think that a shipyard is where you upgrade your ship. Cargo spaces. In you go, and in you go, and now when I get the money, I'm good to do you. Fry over to that though. Into my storage goes. Metal, metal, cloth, cloth. A little touch of research. Wonderful. Maybe I can sell all this cargo and still buy the upgrade. That'd be sweet. Oh, super sweet. Okay, great. Mm. Let's get rich. With all this cargo space, we are good to go out and get the mega bucks. Oh, I can't pay for the repairs on my net though, but that's okay. Alright, splendid. Now, we might be going a little insane, but that's okay. Do we go up? And back down? I think we do. This area seemed to be pretty good on the income, from what I recall, and it didn't have that nasty serpent coming to get me. Weird oily looking thing above the water, but these little fish are almost worthless. did have that nasty underwater thing spearing you there. Yeah, but that was just in a set location. It didn't seem to follow me, so if I just don't go there, I'll surely be okay. Uh, these things are also not worth much money. I need to go for the big box. Oh god, not even a dent in my hefty inventory space now. What a time to be alive, and Northwest should take us back to the safety of the starting region. What are these things? Yeah, nothing but titchy little catches. Sadly, I don't have my oceanic uh, catching device. Can't get myself the sharks, I think it was. Thinking about it, what do you catch? Oh, you only cast, uh, catch coastal stuff. Imagine if I had one of those nets that catch. Then it would make me the real big passive income. Maybe that's what I'll focus on researching next. Although I do need the abyssal stuff, don't I? What I really want to go for are the uh, the fancy things that I get with my new net. But my new net can do mangrove volcanic. Hmm. That's okay, we're going to go and check out some new places next. After we go and grab the stuff from the investigation area, the research lab, if you will. There we go, won't get dinged. Ooh, but we'll grab even more dredge. Hopefully I'm not making all my existing fish nasty and stale. The ones I first caught have gone stale. It's all the more reason to get back post haste. There we go, all the stuff that we care about is still fresh. 
224 dollar dues, including yeah, about 30 quid in the net. Not bad. At least worth repairing the net for. To storage, to storage. My nicely organized storage, please. Which of these would I go for next? Two rod spaces. Also hold nets. Oh, modifies them. Really, what I want? I don't think it is. Oh, I do like you being at the top like that, though. That's far less in the way. Fifteen cargo spaces. There's a lot to be done here, then. I guess this does kind of make sense. Needs to be done eventually. We'll have it ready to be done at a moment's notice. And you for rods. There we go, all that dredging is really paying off. It's a mess here, man. You are a mess. Yeah, reinstalling my hydraulic rod is a little tempting. But I lack the space for that now, thanks to my net. I really need some extra space, uh, extra slots for it. But I think I prefer having the troll net. On the other hand, do I? I mean, the oceanic fishing is worth the big bucks. It's just that the troll net's getting me. You know what? Coastal fish don't really give that same kind of oomphy value that the oceanics do. I'm gonna uninstall you. And then I'm going to put you in. There we go. Plus, we find all the interesting fish out in the ocean. Still on the hunt for that guy that knows his explosives. I'll check the other area and then I'm heading out for the research stuff. Get a good night's sleep and off we trot. Is there an oceanic net on the horizon? I'll check the research when I get over here. But if there were an oceanic net, I'd be grabbing that, no questions asked. Coastal, volcanic, shallow, shallow, oceanic, here's the big boy. I guess I need a large troll net and then that. Is there anything I want on the way there? Mm. Mm. I mean, you do oceanic, but you don't do the fancy stuff here. I do want this, which is probably my next research part, but after that I can invest seven into that. If we can even get that far. Hello, grieving father. You don't know anything about explosives. Dock worker. Motionless on the edge of the dock. Paralyzed by fear. His eyes are tight with effort. Tears are rolling down. A drop of dark ooze falls from his ears and lands into the dock. Okay. Something wrong with these people. Trader, do you know anything about all this? No, he only knows about giving me dosh. But I haven't found anything good for him lately. Oh well, off we trot. Back down here to the old research place. That should give me the ability to do some more kinds of fishing. Yeah, we got we got zombies around here. The bronze stuff ain't worth the money. Hey, you know what? I haven't spoken to you in forever. I even forget what you were all about. You wanted me to find relics for some uh, poorly explained reason. What is it? Mm. My intuition tells me that there are southeast stuff. Oh, okay. Maybe that's what he's putting on my map with the X's, right? 
Not that I bother that much with uh, with finding as we relics. There's not much in this game narratively pushing me towards doing anything. Which could be good or bad. Not sold either way. Gulf Flounder, Great Eel, Cod, Mackerel. Ah, show me the stuff that makes some actual money. Even the Blackfist Tuna wasn't worth that much. But I did spy some... Some dredge. Yeah, yeah! Oh, I'm having that. Also, I'm making a terrible mistake in not deploying mine. Oh, I, I put away my net, didn't I? Yes, I did. There we go. Golden ring. It's got to be worth something. Kind of makes me wonder what exactly is the end game for our poor guy here. When can he cast off the shackles of being a fisherman and say, that is, that is it, it is done, I have fished. out here. This stuff will be handy in getting those upgrades. I felt like I was really behind in the upgrades when we started off here, but now I've blasted through it. What was that noise? Ah, that's probably okay. Just lightning striking and not striking me. There uh, might have left myself out here a little too far from civilization. It's okay though. We're made of sterner stuff. Plus, I got this floodlight. Nothing's going to jump out at me at short notice. No need to fear lightning in a metal boat. <laughs> I've played Pajama Sam. Thunder and lightning aren't so frightening. Hello, what have we here? Disturbed water. Ooh. Sadly, we don't have the goodies for that. Hold on, how did I get turned around? Open to the idea that might have been my mistake, but not entirely. Every water is called disturbed water. <laughs> I think you're right. Oh, that's funny. That's real funny. Medium, coastal, all these things. Oh. Hazard to grab uh, one or two a year. Oh, not not with not with weird stuff like that happening. Back we go. I thought it was disturbed, as in there's something very strange about this. But no, you're right. It's all disturbed. Ah, it's getting pierced by the big bog of the deep there. Right, I recall someone mentioning these birds. They come and steal your catch. Well, good luck doing that now. We're just keeping them out in the open, though. Mm. When's the last time you got a good night's sleep? Do not ask. Oh, I don't have a net stuck to sell. In fact, I've got nothing to sell here. Oh, what a bummer. But, if nothing else, I can shove my dredge into storage. And my trinkets into storage. And then I can neatly organize my storage. 
I'm not much of a neat freak in real life, but I really like things being quite tidy. Gives me a nice state of mind. This is not oh, cool. Um, be that as it may. With only 190 odd simoleons, there's not a lot that I can do here. I need a, an upgraded spot and to upgrade. Upgraded into a net part, which would be swell. Thinking about it, is that hydraulic rod taking up? Yeah, why does it have to be detached? That's unpleasant. Okay, none of these seem very important right now. But they will all be needed on my advancement to the new hull. So I may as well just shove in what I have from this. Which is you. You're all done. One, two, and three. And hey, that's you done. In fact, you're very easy to afford, so why not? Alright, easy money. Hello YouTube commenters, says Dart. Are you sure you want to be talking to those people? Well, I call them people. Right, undock here, it's not so bad. I'm tired as long as we get to research outpost, old fortress, rest up, and then continue on our merry way. Also, not going into this big deep abyss. Did not do us well before. Probably won't do us well now, although this looks interesting. Are you gonna get me from here? Oh geez, not again. Mm. Is that gonna circle back for me? I think it's already circling back for me. You gonna come back again? Seems to be largely done. Anyway, I saw some dredge there, and I did want that dredge. Holy smokes, it's not giving up! Alright, never mind you then, you seem to be doing your own thing. Where was the research at? Plus, here we go. Hello from YouTube. Oh god. We can't do anything with that generator. However, we were meant to go and grab stuff here, right? Sheets of paper, prototype parts, we were told to go and grab these, and we shall. Nothing left in the cubbies. You know, we can have a little bit of a kip. Clearly the insanity is driving us to the edge. Although, there's also dredge to be had. I wonder how you even dredge up with things like this. Are we shoving magnets onto the end of our our hook and crane and whatnot? I just don't know. Who will buy your broken spectacles? There's a guy back at the start who's interested in that. He buys old knickknacks. I'll probably go and ditch my stuff to him. And then I'll make my way out to uh, hopefully more volcanic waters. I want to see what kind of volcanic fish there is. Alright, here's your prototype parts. Um, a sampling device? This should allow you to catch specimens from much greater depths. It's a little slow. Make some improvements. Uh, uh, <laughs> where am I meant to put this thing? I won't be able to do oceanic catching with that. The upgrades don't give me anything good either. Goodbye. Lovely oceanic fishing. Repulsion machine. Bright light. Deter a creature or enrage it. Connect it to the generator. What? What? I, I, 
do I really want to do this for you? This is sounding a bit naff, to be honest. You want to install and activate the machine before attempting to collect these. You might also need to improve that equipment I gave you to catch some of these. I don't want to do any of this. See, I've done all my reading right. I've ignored all these messages as well. Meta researcher needs help collecting. She was chased away. I should be careful. Connect the repulsion machine to the generator. I don't. I, I don't really want to do any of that. Maybe if I just ignore it, it'll go away. That means I want to uninstall you and shove you over here. It needs to be attached to a generator. So I guess I shoved this into the generator there. I'm not really sure I was following what was meant to be done, honestly. But you're asking for far too much of my inventory space for me to inv be invested in what you want me to do. YouTube comments can be great for discussion on the right videos. Uh, what? That's a world I have certainly not seen. Alright, there we go. Maybe this is the improvement that I was meant to do. The bottomless lines. Is that going to be better than the other weird thing that you gave me? It's inefficient. Shouldn't be allowed me to get samples. Yeah, I, I assume that we just don't use this and instead we get the thing that we just researched. Which is probably going to cost an arm and a leg. I will rig up the repulsion machine but otherwise I need to make some actual money by fishing. And some my dude has. I got a comment on an old Caesar 3 video telling me I could have fit another marble quarry in. Uh, been a fair whack of time since I last played Caesar 3. Good game, but I haven't had the itch for it lately. And Caesar 3 is one of those things where the itch comes and the itch goes. But it'll always be around. Another hammerhead to be had over there. I don't recall the value of hammerheads, but I'm having them anyway. Yeah, well, it better be worth something. It's taken up all my space. Fortunately, though, it's not too difficult to make a hard right, go down and sell our catch already. Dredge? Dredge. Do we have space for the dredge? Yeah. Yeah, I got space for one bit of dredge, but I think I'll leave it be. It's a shame this game isn't a more discount. It'd be nice for Christmas traveling. More discount? I don't recall this game being expensive to begin with. Ooh, ooh, I might not be able to fit you in, actually. Mistakes were made. Maybe, with a bit of creative thinking. I think if I didn't have that hole in my ship, I could flip you around and have space for this. Coulda, woulda, shoulda, though. <laughs> it's not, not even possible to try and put the repulsion machine away. That's quite amusing. Ah, it's the close. Cigar. I do want to fit this thing in, but 
as the Tetris Master met his match. What if we take it from another approach? Is there a way to fit you in? No, I think having both is a pipe to- Oh, 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 oh. He's just too good. He can't be stopped. Excellent. Tell me this is worth it. 200 quid, 200 quid, 37 quid. Can't sell the repulsion machine, but that's okay. Alright, splendid. Yeah, the oceanic trawling really helping me out a touch. Just compared to the oceanic fishing, you just don't get the value out of this crummy stuff. Give me the good one. Yeah. It's only gold plated. Repairs, Jake. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a good point. Perhaps even an excellent point. 86 for you, 46 for you. The gold standard ones just don't seem to be that amazing. Mm. Repair for 30 quid. Alright, go on, let's, let's do away with this repulsion machine. Is there economic pressure in this game, or is it just money, money, money? I haven't noticed any pressure in this game, economically. You just keep making money. Hello, something glimmering over here. Stone, once again. It doesn't appreciate our bad touch. What is here? Is that metal or something else? Also, what the heck in the world just happened there? Whatever it is, we'll check it out. It doesn't quite look like metal, does it? It's... ah, it's research. Now that is useful. I missed that repair post. Is it over here? No, no it is not. No repair post, a research post. Why do they even need this much fish? Is there an island full of chip shops? Not enough of them. Been a while since I've been to a chippy, that's for sure. Maybe the next time I'm in the UK I will indulge in the kind of stuff you're only really going to get there. that even do for me? Ah, the creature, perhaps the one that's shooting its wee bibbly bits out at me. So maybe I should put in that fancy new deep digging thing. Alright, I think I get it. This allows me to do abyssal, or is it haddle? Well, whatever. Something over there. Stuff that I cannot currently do because I don't have the parts installed. Interesting. Do I want to do that here and now? Not really, but I'm going to do it anyway. I wanted to go to a new region, but I have a funny feeling. Although this game doesn't seem to offer much in direction, it does want me to do these weak quests. So I'm gonna make the money, get the the fancy Dan Abyssal fishing device, and then we'll get them. Simple as.
they get him out of it and get him fetches a high price. Don't be fooled by that Caesar 3 map, Islands of Pain. Ooh, you know, multiple people have completed that map. Some people with spectacular designs. Me, I have not, and I don't intend on returning to that map because it really does live up to the, uh, the name. It is a painful map. Whilst it might seem like I love to play painful games, I do it for the experience, not purely to put myself through pain. You know? I just like playing lots of games. Good and bad. But this game right now is pretty good. Shove away the research. And actually get some researching done. We have the bottomless line. But I could get the fathomless winch. That actually gets me... Oh, we already had Hida. Oh, this gets me Oceanic. Ooh. That is good. And you are smaller. And considerably faster. Yes, 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 yes. That way I don't even have to bother buying this. I can just get the winch. Oh, but it's not its not 2 by 3 It's 1, 2, 3, 4 bits here. So actually it would probably work out well with the shape. Well, it doesn't matter, we already said no to that. Although I do want this. That'll be my next investment for now. You know, we invented it, but you're the one that just has it and sells it to us. For a high price. I imagine there is absolutely no point in having the hydraulic rod if I have the fathomless winch. Fathomless winch is faster and does oceanic as well. So let's take you and install you takes us to morning. All right. All right, all right. Now I can fish everything. I think I can fish everything. Is there anything I can't? I'm the wrong thing every time. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. What about dredge? Why is dredge its own thing? Oh, it just says catchable, and it all does dredge anyway. That list is literally what you can fish. Yeah, I see that. But the question is, is there anything I cannot fish? Well, I suppose I can't fish up crab, and God knows how we do ice. But no, with that, I should be able to fish up everything. Splendid. In that case, I'm going to go out and make some money. Alright, where's the money? Red snappers don't sound like money, but you do. However, what are the odds that that nasty thing is also out here and waiting to get me? I don't know. We'll find out soon enough. A loose jaw. Uh, now, what was on our list of things to get? It was loose jaw one of them. A loose jaw was one of them. I can just keep hold of one nasty, rotting one and deliver that, though. Surely she won't mind. I hope these abyssal ones are worth decent money, though. Would be nice. Anything else worth our time? A low, angry looking fish? Can the equipment on the right hand be rotated 180 degrees? I mean this? Yeah, you can spin all the installed equipment around, but you can't flip them. Yoink. Nice queer shape in the angle fish. Again, if I could flip it, I could shove it in there, but I can't. But I can rotate it and put it in here, so we will do both. Yoink. No room for one more, no matter how much I squeeze things. I could shove out a loose jaw. Or. Or. Uh, 
That is so close, but again, I need to flip you. This is completely not worth my time, but that kind of makes it worth my time. I could just flip these freaking fish around. It does look very nicely organized, though. But it's wrong. Jake's probably been asked, but have you already done fishing in real life? I have never been fishing before. My family's never been into fishing, so as a child the opportunity was never really there. And as an adult the interest has never been there. I mean, sitting around doing pretty much nothing, I, I can do plenty of that already. And I do like water and I do like nature, but if I was in water I'd rather be fish uh, I'd rather be swimming. <sighs> Alright, so I said I'd hold on to one of these. I think I'll hold on to my smallest, crummiest looking one of each. And then sell all the good stuff. 33, yeah, hold on to the 33 for the lassie, 66, 59, yeah, there we go. And I think it was storage locker over in the other place, so I can just flip you two over to storage and all as well. And wow, that was worth some decent dosh already. In that case, get me my two neck spaces. Uh, you need a bit of cloth, which I don't have. You need some other things. But wow, you know, not even that far off getting the big old hull, but it needs a lot of goods which I do not have. But you offer. Might as well pick up the refined metal, I know I'm going to need it. Seems weird, why have refined metal be something that you can only buy and need for an upgrade that you also need to buy? I'm not sure I follow the logic in that game, but I'm not here for logic. Let's go and deliver our goodies. Two of them at least. I always thought fishing was big in Scotland, maybe as only as an industry. I have not known many people in Scotland who fish recreationally. It is pretty huge as an industry, but also kind of one of those dying industries. You know, you go out to those uh, dying fishing towns. Destitute and depraved. Oh, more lockfish. Perished. Anyway, all this, all this spooky talking is creeping our guy out. Yeah, I got some of your specimens. And I didn't need to do any of your nonsense for- Oh, you don't have a storage space, do you? No, you've got it here, but for some reason I couldn't give you from my storage. Not that I could tell, at least. Yeah, I can just do cabin and cargo. Anyway, anyway, there's one, and there's two. I need a snail fish and a giant- Oh, please don't tell me that's something I can crab fish. No, I don't think it is. Catch style shows a little hook. Anyway, some kind of weird amphipod and a snailfish. I'll get on that right away, after I've had a wee snooze. More loose jaw, not what the doctor ordered. I 
anglefish, more anglefish, more hammerhead shark. You know what, I, I want more money, so we're going to go and grab these as well. Boy, the just running around on the water with this feels so good. I grab the hammerhead shark and whatever else is out there. New fish are good fish. I have not... I've not done volcanic. We've seen volcanic fishing opportunities, but we haven't doubled back to go and actually get them. Got depleted in one go. This game is really making me want to go and eat some shark, but sadly seafood is not big on Hungary. Who would have thought? Fully landlocked country, not big on their fish. Little fang tooth thing? Disproportionately large teeth. Slender fish. I'm not sure I'd want to eat a big toothy fish. Well, it's not big, is it? But fish bones are a royal pain. I have to settle for gula. Oh no, don't get me wrong, the food here is pretty great, but sometimes you just want some really good fish. How did I mess that up? Ghost? Dark. The Shimura fish. Hmm. You've still got more of them. I wonder if at some point the game is going to penalize me for taking as much time as I'm taking. So, can we Tetris you in here? I'm not seeing it on me, do what I have there. I just got these for selling anyway. There is literally one traditional fish dish in Hungary. What is that? I actually found a sushi place nearby and uh, ordered what seemed to be their best dish. There's just a load of different sushi. And it was okay. On worth the price, that's for sure. I don't think I'll be anything short of disappointed by sushi that I uh, that I get here. But I investigated you. I know I'm making my fish rot a little bit by wasting this time. The trouble is twofold. One, I've now been to Japan and had their sushi, and secondly, um, Europe just doesn't tend to do good sushi. Although there was that one place in Stockholm. Uh, what was it called again? I forget its name, but the sushi was phenomenal. The price is also phenomenal, but it was worth it. What was it called? Sushi Soul? Sushi Show? Show Sushi? Something like that. It's in Stockholm, it's near Odin Plan. It's the uh, best sushi I've ever had. Even better than anything I had in Japan. Alright, proportional size to value. The hammerhead shark is still better, but heck, out, I'll take it all. Also, what was that description on the on the perished lockjaw thing? It was strange, is what it was. Am I doing my research parts zero? I thought I just grabbed one. But I could always buy more research off a few. Really wanted to. Not sure I do though, we're pretty set for that. I'll undock though, I have a funny feeling that the fish I want to come out at night time. If I activate the generator I can go fishing in the center here, which will likely hold what I'm after. Price is crazy! 1000 kroner WTF, yeah, it was not cheap. But it was really good. It was something like a 15... I wouldn't say course. It, was a lot, it wasn't large enough to call it a course, but 15 different servings of the chef's choice. And, oh, it was unbelievably good. Alright, let's hit up that propulsion. Keep that beast at bay and go and grab snail thingamajigger. Oh, that 
that's not what I'm after at all. That's gulper eel. Didn't someone want a rotten gulper eel off of me? That, however, looks like the fish I'm after. Giant Amipod. Who wanted to gulp? Oh no, it's a conger eel, not a gulper eel. Anyway, where's that pod thing? It's right in front of me. get out of here before that giant tentacle creep decides to have its filthy way with me. Alright, now unless there's something else that really desires my attention. Ooh, what could this be? A jewel-encrusted band? For the collector. All right, I think I've chanced it enough out here. Let's continue straight ahead to sell our goodies while they're fresh, and then whenever they're stale or whatever, we can bring them over to the other person. Ooh, but now I can finally grab this. This got me killed last time. Won't be fooled again. That doubloon is mine. Several sushi places around here, but their selection is always so boring. Salmon, egg, cucumber sushi, 90% of the menu, oh god, yeah. Nothing more uninspired than a California roll with a chopped up cucumber and a piece of uh, crab, not like fish stick, nasty processed fish stick in it. Unvinegared rice and usually some, uh, some mayonnaise as well. Oh god. Terrifying bad stuff. Okay. I shove you in the storage, same with you. And all but my crummiest one of these. Looks like 2650. Goes away for very good dosh. Alright, liking what I see here. Same with you. 30 and a half. Keep the 30 and a half. Actually, I can shove you into storage and pop you out elsewhere. That gulper eel's worth decent money as well. Look at that, we're getting rich. Rich off the sweat of our brow, as it should be. Yeah. And what do you have for me? Yeah, I mean, I need to pick these things up anyway, so just give them to me. It's potentially worth the cost. Sell sampling device. Are you gonna buy it off with me? Mm. Not sure I can sell you. Really not sure I can sell you. Maybe I can't. Or maybe no one wants to buy it. <laughs> Japanese 15,000 yen now. We went higher than that. It was my first meal out after the pandemic, and it was good. I'm not sure it was 20,000 Japanese yen good, but I was still happy to have it, especially after my uh, Okonomiyaki incident when I was in Tokyo. <laughs> Didn't think it was possible to have really bad food in Japan. Oh, no, no need to rest. I wanted to undock there. But it was truly bad. By any standards, not just Japanese standards. <laughs> the alpha <laughs> idea of alpha and pot noodles afterwards. <laughs> Poor alpha. Such an abused man. 
Did you flop up the okonomiyaki? Now, I was out for dinner in Tokyo, and I was just looking around what there was, and I was in this street food area, which looked pretty cool. So many options, but a lot of places were busy. But I went to one place that actually had some seats available, and uh, they had okonomiyaki, which is great. I love okonomiyaki. Uh, and of course, I ordered the okonomiyaki, and it's terrible. Like, it just tastes vile. One of those dishes that's so bad it's kind of hard to swallow. Uh, but, finished it down, I did. Didn't want to be rude in Japan. Didn't want to turf me out. It was hard enough to get in. Uh, and it wasn't that cheap either. I mean, it wasn't expensive. Food tends not to be in Japan, but my goodness. Mistakes were made, is what I'm saying. And then I got the advice. There's usually a reason for their, uh, for places having queues. And it's not too unusual to queue up for your food there, get used to it. Good advice. I've got good news and bad news. Which do you want to hear first? Could you just not tell me the bad news? I've uh, honed down what's causing ab abnormalities. Samples you've retrieved. Dangerously high counts of cellular mutations. Mm-hmm. The thing in the basin is harmful to life. Sure. You've done all this for me, and I've not much to say thank you with. <laughs> you can say that again. Oh, yay, a book. <laughs> ah. I have been thanked with a book, and it has been a good book before. Somebody actually sent me a copy of uh, Machiavelli's The Prince, and it was a good read. I enjoyed it a lot. Generally speaking, I don't enjoy the experience of reading. Used to. Loved it as a kid, but those days are behind me. Okay, well, we did all of that. Did we really get anything out of it? I don't know. But it was one of our to-do lists crossed off. Bigger in gold still wants that red snapper. I guess I could do that. I'm heading that way anyway. Liking the Prince is on brand. I'd, I'd heard all these things about, oh, the, the Prince is just uh, a parody. I'm not, I'm not so sure about that. Feels like projection. Seemed like pretty sound advice. It was all about dividing and conquering. Divide and rule. There's the Red Snapper. I'm going to grab that for the guy in gold and head out that way. Hold on, where was the guy in gold? The blue guy wants a tiger mackerel. Gold wants red snapper. The island between Gale Cliffs and Stellar Basin. So somewhere around here. Can't remember where. Well, let's grab the fish anyway. Hopefully he doesn't mind that it's going to be rotten as sin. And who was the other chappy? Marrow and Gale Cliffs. Mm, so around here. So somewhere either here or here, maybe even there. <laughs> Pardon me. I'll head to it. Parody doesn't feel like the right word. Yeah, it wasn't the right word when I was saying it, but I'm not sure what is the right word. Cynically disingenuous, perhaps? One way or another, not serious. Oh, hello, what is this? Oh, I've seen you before! Yeah! It wasn't you, it, there was a shipwreck that did that, though, before. Mm, mysterious. Also, I probably shouldn't be out at this time. Maybe I should double back and sleep up for the night. Perhaps bringing back a hammerhead shot so it's not a complete waste of an expedition. Ooh, a golden hammerhead shark, no less. Yoink. Ooh, a golden messed up version. Three meters long with big bulbous eyes. That is something. Also, an unknown fish in this direction. And perhaps even more shark. Alright, let's make this a very worthwhile expedition then.
<laughs> Get the harpoon. Wait, did it disappear? No, it's over there. Boy, the, the night time hits hard. It's fast here. A battle eye. Is that normal? I guess so. I gotta find some twisted versions of it. Better be careful or I won't have space for my hammerhead shark. Which is somewhere here, right? Oh, maybe they only come out in daytime. This feels like information that my encyclopedia could have for me. Oceanic. Whaler, Devil, Reef Shark. Where's the hammerhead? There we go. Apparently out at day and night. I'm not seeing it. I could have sworn it was right here. Have I been betrayed by my own senses? I was certain I saw them around here. Ah, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, there we go. Come to me. Alright, this is gonna be not just uh, a little bit on the side, this is good money. Perhaps it could be even better money. Oh, right, these guys are chunky. Ooh. Might have done myself a disservice here. I'm unsure that this is even possible to fit in, but I am sure that I'm going to try. Let's just make a bit of extra space for you. And... Bummer. I don't think there's any combination that gets you in here as well, just because of the shape. Hmm. This is quite possible, really. Quite possible, they say. be a bit more possible if you could flip here. How about like so? Hey, there we go. Do we want another one? No, that's probably not quite possible as they say. And the fog is continuing to whisper at me. Alright. This better be worth unbelievable amounts of money. 400 quid. 582! Mmm. Man, must be a lot in those fish eyes. Boy, compared to a regular hammerhead. Money, one to anyway. All of that's getting sold for the big dollary dues. On top of that, can I afford anything for all my troubles? Well, there's a lot I can afford for my troubles. I'll, ju I'll just take it all, right? Yes. I've earned it. And I do want to work my way towards that amazing net. Although, now that I have my awesome fathomless winch, do I really want the net? Actually, I like the net as well, if I could. Think of the money, the passive income from the net, the concentrated income from the winch. You know, between there, I might be able to just forego the rod. Abyssal, Hadal, Oceanic. But then I wouldn't be able to do Mangrove or Volcanic. Hmm. Also, these are huge. Look at the size of this thing. I don't think I have the space for that. I'm still getting it, though. I'm not going to buy you, but I'll have you unlocked so I can do the heavy-duty trawling net. Bit of 
cloth needed for you, a bit of cloth and metal needed for you. But once I do that, I already have the three refined metal I need for the tier four upgrade. So metal and wood and cloth all needed. Keep that in mind. Good, 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 good. Gonna bring back this jewel encrusted thing and head over to a new area. I wish I could sell this because it's just taking up space. Might consider selling the trawling net. Mm. Alright, we'll rest up for now. A good night's sleep had. Uh, oh, I sold the fish that I was planning on giving to that weirdo, didn't I? Yes, yes I did. I can just catch another one and still bring it. Ooh. That's funny, <laughs> the, the sun only rising as I tap forward. Seeing the sunrise is cool. When I think of sunrises in games, I think of the first time I saw the sunrise playing Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. I also think of the sunrise in Minecraft. There was something quite beautiful about that big square block in the sky rising up. Okay, I need that red snapper. The trouble is I don't remember where the hooded figure was. You can discard the sampling device, Jake, yeah, but I'd rather sell it. Why throw things away when I can make money off of them? But then again, maybe that's not possible. Alright, where was that hooded figure? Oh, never mind that. I spy some dredge. Still so weird saying dredge, but not meaning the banner saga. Party doubloon. Kinda wish I could make marks on this map, it would make it much easier to mind where these hooded fellows are. I think it's the U-shaped island. Are we willing to believe it's someone called MTV? I was never the biggest fan of MTV. But I think I saw a Rammstein music video on it, so with that in mind, I will trust your words. <laughs> There's a red snapper right here anyway. Couldn't our hooded fellow have just gone out and grabbed that? Hello, friend. They rip through it. They want another. They want a fang tooth. Oh, man. I know where I can get that, but I guess back we go for the fang tooth. This is an abyssal opportunity around here. There's a battle eye and a ghost shark. But I'm not seeing old battle tooth. Hello! Research dredge, that's worth its weight in gold. From here, I can have another look for the old battle tooth. So it's meant to be challenging level Frogger at the speed that it's going. Oceanic perch, tunas, loose jaw. What was it you wanted again? I've managed to forget already, but it was that tiny little one with the big teeth. So not a loose jaw. I suppose this is the kind of thing we have encyclopedias for. It was Abyssal Fangtooth. Comes out day and night in the Stellar Basin. Hardly any meat on it. Alright, well I guess we've got to turn around. Yeah, do anything for these weird magic hooded figures after all. But if I'm on my way back, it might not be the worst thing to grab something to sell. Those ghost sharks are worth reasonable dosh. Yeah, these greedy sorts do just continue to want more and more off of me, and I don't appreciate that. And I don't even know if the point of the game is to fulfill all these weirdos' 
demands off of me. I mean, why I even helped that scientist lady? She seemed really ungrateful for it as well. It's beyond me. Void eye? What do you say? Red cycles meld through it. Shimmering green swirls. It burns through you. Some weird things going on here. But I have been spending all of my money, so it could hurt to grab a little bit more. Hoping for some more nice oceanic catches. But it's already very dark, so let's make our way back. Didn't our prototype unlock new fishing tools? Yes, and we have gotten the new fishing tool. We have grabbed ourselves the Fathomless Winch, the upgraded unlock tool, no less. And that gives us a lot of opportunities for fishing. I'm going to constantly check the map because I'm really, really bad at orienteering. But you already knew that. Hello? Is that wooden dredge? Because that I need. Give me triple wood, then all the better. But I need everything. I need wood, I need metal, and I need cloth. And even after that, that's not everything, is it? Ooh, but here's the cloth. Something slithers into your cargo. Ooh, well, probably not my problem. Can we reshuffle for this? Yes, we can. I think it's on us that we're not keeping our container very secure. If this is our lifeblood, we think we take it a bit more seriously. Oh, it's a sh oh, it infected the void eye as well. Hang on, was that always a void eye? I thought I only grabbed one Void Eye. Oh well, things are going nasty. Well, let's give it the beans on the way home. At least it's a fresh infected Void Eye. that much, but still better than a regular barrel eye. We still have void eye available. Oh god, it's not the only infected thing, right? Get these off my ship. Shove all this away into storage while we're at it. Organize my storage to look a lot better than it does. There we go. Although that might be a moot point, because I plan on upgrading if I can, and if I can afford it. One bit of cloth. That's not cloth. That is. There we go. I will just purchase the upgrades as we come across them. But here we go. I need scrappy metal, which is proving tricky to come by at the best of times. But we'll get it. And then the new hull. Lots of wood, lots of scrap, lots of everything, and lots of cost, but 15 cargo spaces. I'm gonna be rich. Um, I think I'll undock and do a little bit of fishing, and then I'm gonna rest up and grab the weird fish for the similarly weird guy. So there's a fang tooth out there. Should I just grab it now? I don't want to insult scary hooded man by giving him something that's rotting. Let's grab what I can. The going is good. Power scaling seems a bit too fast. It felt a bit slow early on. I was not a big fan of just how agonizingly small the cargo space was for a long time. 
But now, now things feel a lot more balanced out. As long as I'm not having to rely on my crab pots. Okay, hopefully I timed that mute in time so you didn't have to hear me sneezing there. Okay, gotcha. More hammerheads. More money. Teeth are out there. Do I grab them now? Anglefish, fang tooth. I guess I'll grab some anglefish. That's it. Just spending this day to make some money, and then we double back. I've been wanting to head away over to the volcanic region for ages anyway. I want to see what's over there, catch some new fish. And this is good. You know, the game isn't motivating me to go and find those because I've got some kind of quest or anything like that. I'm going there because I want to see what fish are out there. And good is the game that can do that. Intrinsic motivation. But then I'm, I'm insanely turned off by games that have live service-like motivations, like... Oh hey, get this limited edition flamethrower if you decapitate three zombies using an ironing pole. And the uh, State of Decay 2 uh, little challenges that gives it jumps very not fondly into my mind thinking about something like that. What's that fat bastard that gives you those uh, missions anyway? He's annoying in himself because he's a completely... Uh, invincible and non-aggro drawing NPC, so he breaks the rules of the game. Kind of like that Ray fellow that I tried desperately to rip in half, but failed at every opportunity. Right, once again, I will keep the smallest, crummiest one of these for my hooded friend out there. Sell you the rest for a reasonable dosh. Gonna take a, a wee bit of a nap. And out we come. When's the next State of Decay 2 run? Uh, I'm either waiting for State of Decay 3 or for there to be a really good difficulty mod for State of Decay 2. No Man's Land was pretty good, but it could have been harder. I would have been happy if it were harder. Is that Dredge? Ooh, that stretch. I don't necessarily need wood, but I'll take the wood. At this point, it's metal that I need. <laughs> yeah, so young, earlier you mentioned how every day is currently a battle to fight the urge to play State of Decay 2. Now that surprised me. I thought, like me, you'd been pretty tapped out in State of Decay 2 still waiting for a nice challenge run. But then you come and surprise me with those words. What? What is going on in that uh, sizable head of yours? Slot you in right there. You're probably going to be a bit stale, but off the trot regardless. So many challenge run ideas. It's good. It can be difficult to make a run in State of K2 challenging. Because ultimately, if you can get yourself out of a out of a rough situation, there's not a lot you can do to accentuate the challenge. At least uh <laughs> <laughs> At least not anything that doesn't just come across as uh, tedious. To be honest, the, the one-person run didn't seem terribly exciting to me, but a lot of my enjoyment in State of Decay comes from having the extra characters that have to fend for themselves. I love a good siege. Oh, the sieges are where State of Decay is at its absolute best. 
Yes, yes, Magicka layoff guy. Here's your sacrifice. Nibble in. Another. Oh my god. No, no, forget it. The crab getting is pretty nasty in this game. I'm not getting yet crab. And if that is absolutely necessary to win the game, then, well, I'm probably going to have to do it at some point. I just still don't want to do it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, th this is all well and fun, but turning it into a fetch quest becomes significantly less fun. Surgeon, natural, grab a bit of dredge and take some respite here and then go check out some new areas, because I really want to check out the volcanic region. That I'm saying, ooh, sturgeon, what? Maybe he just like Sturgeon. I can't hear Sturgeon without thinking about Scotland's, uh, I think now ex-First Minister. I don't keep my finger on the pulse of many things back home, especially not politics. But I think she's been replaced with a chap called Yosef. I'm open to the idea of being wrong. Uh, that doesn't really matter. Mm. I heard you. Oh, right, you're the explosives chap. I've been going to the wrong place looking for explosives. Well, I mm. I did. Sometimes the carcasses needed breaking up. Not the most efficient, but it gets the job done. I can get behind that. Mm. I'd have a use for that. No promise. Okay, what kind of fetch quest does he want me to do for that? And how about you there? Absolutely nothing. But what I will do is dump all of my wood. Wow, I've got quite the wood collection these days. Unfortunately for me, I'm looking for metal, not wood. I need to dump some of the stuff, so I need to head up north regardless. And we will chip our way away at you, ultimate cargo net. Let's undock, though. What's up with that? Just beam of light there. But I think I need to blow something up in order to get to that, so I won't beat myself up over that. I will, however, speak to you. Mmm, yeah, smoked fish. Smoked anything. Smoked cheese. Mm. Many good things in this world. Take this old stale shark. I'd love to eat a shark, but I just can't think when the last time I did, or if I even have. Yeah, everything's blocked by one chunk of metal. I might actually go out and check for the metal right now, and by right now I mean when I wake up. So I sold everything, right? Yeah, I just want those... Um, I want to be able to dump my excess stuff onto those upgrades. In a way, it's kind of a shame that the dredge respawns. Because it incentivizes just kind of hanging around an area and grinding all of this out. I would like... I would like this to be a bit more incentive to go exploring a touch more. You get up and beat me up if I come close to you. So I'm come and grab some of this though. It's kind of like a Vorion. A Vorion was excellent at incentivizing me to just continue towards the center. There was always that next upgrade that I wanted, and to get that upgrade you needed to have the building knowledge and the blocks from something that's closer to the center. So immediately all you have access to is iron and not rare, but rare-ish titanium in the region. And that, that'll let you build a simple ship. You'll have engines, thrusters, power generation, hull. But then, you know, you get more titanium because you want that special block that reduces hull damage you take by a lot, like 75%. Well, that's, that's very nice, we'll have those. But surely you don't want those budget shields, you want real shields, and for that you need now knights, so you go to the center for that. But then, uh, you know, now knights good and well, but trinium is the lightest, most maneuverable stuff, and that's the next layer, and so you go and get that, and you're like, ah, isn't it a pain having to dock all the time? You want to go and get Xenion so that you can have teleportation technology, and you go in for that, it just keeps going until you're strip mining the center for billions of ducats. 
at that point. I've, I've finally put down Avorion. I have too much money. The game isn't exciting anymore. But I'm certainly contemplating doing some multiplayer of that game. Anyway, I got the metal that I'm after. I'm gonna bring it back and pave our way towards the ultimate upgrades. Metal, nice cheap upgrade, and now for the big one, the final hull. And I feel like a clever clogs for having gotten the refined metal in advance. Well, I dare to say I have done a pretty damn good job of this. Look at that, just need one bit of cloth and one bit of metal scraps, and we are going to have. Well, it doesn't show me the upgrade that it's going to give me, but I imagine it's going to be pretty chunky. I also imagine it's something we're going to explore next time. I have been warned that this game's very short. In fact, the how long to beat clocked it in at about six hours, and I've apparently already streamed it for over five? Maybe even coming close to six. Maybe I'm taking my time, but I want to have one more uh, stream out of this. Stretch out the fun a bit. Although it is enjoyable, no question about it. So I'm going to save and quit my way out of this. And the reason I want to pace myself with fun big time is because I have a very big potential for anti-fun coming up. I'm going to take a short break, grab a drink, and also I need to set it up and it might be a little complex. But the punishment game Delta Force 2 is up right after. Could be alright, probably going to be old janky ass, but we'll find out together. I'll be back momentarily, give me like 10 or 15 minutes.